Dude, make you sure. Ah, oh, we flip sides again. You have no yeah. time. Can you flip me back? Yeah. <laughs> you have no time on that intro. I almost made an intro today. Um, so for those of you guys that are watching, this is a really exciting episode for me and totally. Adley, at least. Very. Do you agree with me? Totally agree, man. I'm pumped for this. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we're so excited. We can see you're in the green room right now, our special guest, and it's just, I'm excited. So I almost Amazing. made an intro like we did last season. So for anybody who's new to us, last season we used to do these really cool intros with the 360 camera and introduce the person. <clears throat> I almost did it today for Vic because um, cause it's just really exciting to have Vicky Valle on. Adley, you want to talk about Vicky for a little bit? Yeah, and it's if you guys saw even just the little intro video we had to tease the show coming up, or even just the image, it's just like, oh my gosh, Vicky Valle. Because first of all, Vicky Valle, we've now known her since the like the mid '90s, so this goes back 25 plus years, 25 ish years. And and Mike, I was a fan of the Morning House Party and yeah, Vicky Valle before we even got on at KOHT. So it's extra special. And and it's basically to reiterate what we talked about with Paco's like, man, I drive to my crappy telemarketing job or whatever. And we, you know, after we graduated from U of A, like, and I just would listen to the Morning House Party driving in, listening to these guys, and just it was amazing. I mean, you had. Paco, the guy, you know, the guy running the board, and you had Chico, but then you had Vicky, this this uh, a, a white lady down with hip hop and and down with the culture, and and just you know, her, it was just amazing to hear and just like she and honestly, she was probably, you know, when we'd go anywhere, it would be like, where's Vicky? You know what I mean? And, and you said that, you know, they said that about all of them. People but, asked us a lot where Vicky mostly, was whenever we'd yeah. go to remotes. So for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we. The, the three of us that will be on the show tonight were all on a morning show at different times, except for Vicky was the, was kind of the thread. She was the um, constant. Yeah, so and, – and and she was our news lady, but she was also like – she was just just cool. One thing I was thinking about today with Vicky is there were only three white people who worked at that radio station, and two of them were awful. Like, how bad would that be if it's like your nationality and then – Potato Head and Alan Herman. Though like that's it. Those are the two people who are the same nationality as upper you. management too. They were both upper management. Oh my gosh. Like, way, they were, yeah, they were ahead. And then Vicky was was in the streets with us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, and, she was there. Well, and then the next thing about Vicky, you guys, is that she didn't like she didn't pretend. She didn't put on airs to pretend she was from the hood. She was a very proper Caucasian lady, which you'll see in a couple minutes. But like was she was just down like there was never yes. a time when Vicky wasn't one of us. And at the same time, like she'd still bust balls too. Um, the last time, like there was, there was a couple times me and Vicky had emailed about maybe 15 or 20 years ago. Um, when like Facebook first started coming out and people started getting email and we'd send back and forth, but I'd send her an email and I said, this is how radio people are, but this, this is, this is the, like this story tells you how radio people are and, and how they talk to their friends. And I said, Oh, I met a real nice girl. And she replied back. Well, I sure hope it's not a midget. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> that was her reply. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, but, it, but it's just, it's just like, there's, there's, there's something about radio family that like, it's just so much fun to talk to him again and see him again. And I'm super excited to talk to Vicky. I'm super excited to hear the story about like how she met the morning house party, how she got involved in like this crazy, mm. like, radio life that we Circus. were in yeah because she she was like uh, she is now you know a proper broadcaster and still was a proper broadcaster back then but working with us you know it's like <laughs> it's like we're, we're all so gutter and then vicky you know what i mean so oh, yeah that's so true because i mean our 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 lifestyle was you know djing at the club hanging out in the hood if we did just like you know took a box of cds out in the street it wasn't to the nice neighborhoods no nope. it was to the hood yep and you know it'd be the middle of the night we go out at midnight it didn't matter and our then, radio station was in the hood dude like you make it sound like <laughs> well we went to this we went to this beautiful establishment From one hood to another <laughs> yeah it was like dude our radio station was so scary dude, like think about that man like our radio station was so scary and she's getting there like 5.45 in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Still, Still dark, dark sometimes. Out. Yeah. yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. Brave woman. Oh, they, wait a minute. There that. were four Caucasians. There was Alan Herman, Potato Head, Vicky, 
and the homeless guy behind our building, <laughs> Phil. Remember that dude? Phil the that pain. Dude? Yeah, Phil the <laughs> agony. Phil the agony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, man, we love Vicky so much. We're so excited to have her on. We want to hear her story about the morning house party, the evolution of the morning house party, and then what she's doing today, too. Like, um, DJ Flava checking in. Oh, my gosh. What up, man? What's up, Flava? <laughs> That's insane. Dude, we talked about you like six episodes ago. Yeah, where like you been, man? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Adley, you want to bring on Vicky, man. Like, I, I think we've hyped her up enough. I, like, I'm so excited to talk to her. It's been 20 years since yes, we talked Yes, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Vicky Valle. And oh, look at this. This God. is amazing. And <laughs> I know. It's so nice. She oh, had other right. nicknames. And, and and I feel like, well, I want to talk about the nicknames. I was going to throw one out right now. I got it. Like, no, no, I want to go first because I think I'm thinking the same okay. one you are. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll say half. You say the other half. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. La Huera. Free Holeta. That's right. <laughs> Gavin checking in too. What's up, Gavin? La Huera Free Holeta. And then I remember one day, Vicky and I were someplace like like a middle school or something, and somebody came up to her and said, What does that name mean, La, la Huera Free Holeta? And, and Vicky said, I think it means white bean lady. And white, I was, <laughs> white bean woman. <laughs> yeah, but it's. You're it, darn tootin'. It's a little more racist than that, though, Vicky. It's, oh. it's, now, yeah. now I. What does it mean? But it's not. But it's not racist against Caucasian people. It's 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 you're down. It, it means it, it's more white beaner is what it is. And and That's once fair. again, only <laughs> only repeating the term, not not using the term. Um, as we said last uh, episode, when we talked about that, yes, it's we, just... we've never we've never called anyone that name uh, or used that word. But well, I, I'm honored. Name. I'm going to wear it as a badge of honor. Like of course, Vero Canerlo. Where like Wero Canelo, Canelo. yeah, yes. of course. And Which dude, that was like the next cinnamon thing. white guy or something. Well, yes. that's the best yes. part about Vicky is like she didn't even like there was never an embarrassment that her Spanish accent wasn't good. It like it didn't, it, and it never got brought up. No one was ever like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that word's pronounced." We we're just like, "Okay, yeah, uh, I'm going up the road with Tootie uh, and Adley," and then and then Vicky would say, "You're going with go ahead, Vic." <laughs> what was that guy's name? Tootie. Yeah, there you go. That was way better than you used to say it back in the day. I mean, you used to say Turi. Yeah, that's exactly what she'd say. <laughs> Turi. That's pretty good. But she'd, say, she'd say Turi. But none of us would say anything. Like, it was like, well, you know what it was? Is that she wasn't pretending to be something that she wasn't. Real. You know what I mean? She was real. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You guys are so, sweet. Yeah. No, we're being honest, Vic. Yeah, like, that's true. You, you weren't pretending to be something that you weren't. Because I'll tell you right now. Nothing bothers your friend's sketch more than someone who pretends to be from the hood. Mm -hmm. Like, and you can ask Adley about that. That really steams me. <laughs> really oh, it's good. annoying. It's just, dude, be you, whoever yeah. you are. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. But, but Vicky would be with the gangsters with us. Vicky would be like, every, every, like, my gosh, how did your parents let you do this? Like, no. Oh, they loved it. But they, they loved let, it. They let you go. To, let's start it out. So you went to NYU, correct, for, for university? I did. I grew up outside Chicago, the suburbs, not in the hood. And uh, But then they let me flee and go to Manhattan. I was 17, and they were telling you, bring your ID on the subway in case you get killed. And they were okay with it. <laughs> this yeah, is it was before, lovely. This is when Manhattan was Manhattan, too. So this it's not this. Before yeah, this is Giuliani. This, yeah, it's this okay. ain't just like okay. what you see now. When you go now, it, dude, it, dude, you don't even know who's from Oklahoma and who's from New York because there's so many tourists in, in Times Square. They're like, take your earrings off. They'll pull your earrings for your earlobe if you wear gold. They were putting needles on movie theater seats with notes that you have AIDS now because you sat on the needle. It was not a good time. This was probably 87, I want to say. There was a oh movie. There's, there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a show on HBO that talks about it called The Deuce. And it was, and it's, it's from the seventies, but, but Manhattan was about the same in that time frame. So your, your dad, who's a federal agent allowed you to go to NYU, Yeah, Graham, but that's kind yeah. of a cool thing, right? Like, yeah, that's it. it's like, you know what? We can't afford it anyway. And then I got in he's like, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was what was, what were your, what was your goal going to NYU? I mean, what did you, what oh, was your God, like degree, your major, all that stuff? What was your, what was the, like the end game after college? I was an acting, acting major and studied with some really good people. I wanted to be on the soap operas and interned at all my children. You guys are too young. You won't remember the, all this what? stuff. We're the same yeah. age. No what do you mean we're this. too young? We're the same age. <laughs> yeah. We're aging so we look young. Stop, <laughs> stop fooling yourself. You know 
You two are reverse aging. It's creepy. Uh, it's don't, like it's, it's like Tom Brady. Are you vegan? Are you not drinking? What's going oh, on? Here? I ate so unhealthy. It's ridiculous. Me Here's too. the thing. Don't say that in front of my wife. My wife gets so mad when people tell me I look young. Because she's she's Caucasian, so she looks, you know, like her age. And there's nothing wrong with that. She's a beautiful lady. Um, you know. But I think like, he hasn't aged. I don't not at all. Oh, That's I what I so. said. I think oh, she looks God. exactly the same. Yeah, I think she looks the same. Exactly the same. 100% exactly. of age. You guys are nice. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Let's Wait, get back okay. to this. So, yeah, so. so NYU, you want to be an actress. Did you Now, did you study with anybody that we've heard of or like? Well, the, the woman that taught me, uh, uh, God, trained Robert Duvall, Robert De Niro, Marlon Brando. Oh, jeez. Judd Nelson, Sybil Shepard, and me. <laughs> <laughs> man that's crazy all right so so then after university i'm assuming you got your bachelor's degree correct or i did yeah in, I, in theater i did and then when i was about 19 i was halfway through school i got a job at a home shopping club at the top of the Empire oh, state building right. run that's by right a, now i a remember pretty mean iranian mama jamma I feel like there's YouTube videos of you doing that out there somewhere. Dude, this is when people don't remember. They bombed the World Trade Center in 1993. And that's when I worked at the Upper State. So we could see that smoke. They killed six Holy people cow. that day. They were going Whoa, for Bill yeah. Clinton's limo. And then, of course, they did it again. And that Holy was the worst. Cow, that now. is bananas. I and we also, Vicky, we also, know, we also know that was in one of Notorious B.I.G.'s song blow up like the world trade that's right yeah you're trying ah, to get paid and blow up christopher like the wallace world trade. <laughs> um, I, re I remember all their names by the way. Nice. Later. well don't worry we're getting there because we because we, we, we keep cutting in on you so now you graduate from university and and we're and you're working at the uh home shopping network um <laughs> the ghetto version it what, was a qvc what brings you what brings you to tucson well, after the home shopping gig dried up and we moved to Jersey City and I was running out of money, I ran a, a theater company for many years, downtown New York, did Holy a play cow. with gay play and gay patrons why, and gay why did actors. You, and why did you work with us? I don't understand. Oh, my this. God. Like, you guys like, are so much she's, fun. She's, she's reading her resume. I'm like, do we know this person? Like, What's going on here? <laughs> Listen, uh, running a troupe of gay actors is like herding cats. Working with you all was really easy, you know. God bless my <laughs> actors, but every night drama, there'd be a rat in the audience that comes screaming, pulling on my skirt, kill the rat! Like, Holy oh cow! <laughs> you this kill is in it. Jersey? Yeah. Well, this was downtown New York, off off Broadway. So. Oh, okay, okay. I thought, but then, I... long story short, ninety seven, I ran out of money. I'm like, no, what am I losing? Jersey City was not opulent back then. Oh, you were living in totally... Jersey City. Okay. Yeah, I was about I... to ask where you were living. Oh my God. In Jersey. Bad Manhattan. I could... my God. You it's so afford... expensive even back then. I used to live on like, you know, a large white rice with duck sauce for two days. Yeah. You can't afford to eat. You know, no money. Everything goes toward rent. You can't get one beer maybe a week if you have any money. So finally I booked it out here. The guy that gave me my first job out here and I flew out before I moved was Alan Case. And he just oh, retired. God bless him. Yeah, yeah, God bless him. Skyview traffic. It was at Mix FM. It was just a couple hours a All day. All right, so hold on. Let me yeah. explain to everybody real quick. So Alan K. Eighth was this really large white dude who <laughs> did who did the uh, he did the traffic, but in Tucson, like our budgets were so low, he didn't have a helicopter. He had a, a crop duster. It was and a him, Cessna. A, a, ghetto old <laughs> now who was what was his his pilot's name again didn't he didn't he always talk about his pilot was oh uh, god i can't remember oh no. man i thought you had that one anyways yeah. so so for some okay. reason he had he did the 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 traffic for everybody but he loved hot 98.3 like he did he, tr he treated us so yeah. good and i'd worked at other radio stations where he'd done our 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 traffic and it was just hey buddy how's it going He'd bring us the caves donuts, Adlai, in the morning. Mm. He'd Dang. bring us a dozen the caves. Oh. Yes. And I would pound half of them. And everybody would be like, who <laughs> so has sketch with the donuts? And I was like, what am I going to oh, do about this? God, Come on. The sugar now. rush. It's like oh. 18 Krispy Kremes in one oh. giant thing. And this, oh. cat, this cat's car was filled with uh, bags from oh. Wendy's, McDonald's, all the way up to oh. the top of the seat. Remember that, Vic? Oh, yeah. I had to do a, like a videotape exchange with him once, some demo tape, and I had to put it in the car with, ah, COVID-19. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold, hold, hold on a sec. We keep cutting in. All right. So so you're in Jersey. And um, by the way, whenever me and my wife go to New York, we stay in Secaucus. 
Um, For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But but one time my wife booked the hotel right, and I, and my wife she's from Fairfax, Virginia, so so very. That's where Caucasian. I was born. Yeah. Okay, so mm-hmm. so you understand exactly where we're going here. Yeah. Um, the opposite of sketch, and she's a doctor of physical therapy. Can you imagine wow. I tricked this woman into marrying me? What anyways, happened? I know exactly. Back to what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so uh, so I, she books the hotel. I said, listen you probably should have let me work on that hotel. She says, no, 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 I, I booked the hotel. I said, okay. So we start driving. My wife is notoriously cheap. She is so <laughs> cheap, right? And last time we stayed in a Marriott, now we're crossing these train tracks. I said, Sherilyn, if this is across the way from these train tracks, oh, we're dude. gonna have a problem. Orange. We keep going, we keep going. Super eight, pull up in the super eight. And I said, Sherilyn, if there's an Indian guy at, behind the counter and a Puerto Rican in the lobby with a nice watch, we're not gonna have a good night. And Vicky, you might as well, I might as well have had a camera on this spot. We start walking to our hotel room. There's a prostitute in the hallway. I'm like, Sherilyn, why did you book this place? But anyways, oh, God. okay, so now you're in Jersey. Sorry, you're in Jersey. How did you even hear about Alan? Was there something in the paper? How, how does this work? Well, my folks retired. My dad retired and they moved from Chicago area out here. And did I used to, oh, okay. yeah, and I visited and I'm like, you know, this isn't that bad. It's hot as hell, but you know, at least no I have winners. A- yeah. And then so I thought, you know, rolled dice, got that U-Haul, flipped off the George Washington Bridge and said, adios. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I know, huh? Yeah. I just so, couldn't wait, do it you, anymore. Yeah. Did you have to move back in with your folks, though? I think I lived with them uh, for maybe a couple weeks. I got an apartment, I want to say near Sunrise and Cold, but it was like half of, a third of what I was paying it was brand new luxury swimming pool, free parking. Yeah, you guys like living in those <laughs> nice apartments. You see my apartment, man. My apartment was above that nightclub. It's such a dud. I remember you and Pop came here like, oh, is this? Is oh this my God, real? I remember your apartment. <laughs> yeah, you remember oh, that? Oh, the one above the Rialto? They yeah, went to exactly. visit? Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Her, her and Pop came to visit and we Mickey was like, if I here. sit on the seat, there might be an AIDS needle, so I better not sit <laughs> she didn't say that, but that's her New York, New York kicking oh, in. You had yeah. like a pass through of sorts. Yeah, was, that was my living. That was my bedroom. Was that your window? It, it was in the back. It, Adelaide's apartment was just as weird. Okay, so don't let, was weird too. Yeah, yeah Adelaide's was apartment the was just as weird. So oh, don't let him fool you. But anyway, didn't I, invite us in. I only got to see sketches. No, you came in. You and Pac came, came into in. sketches, like, but not mine. Oh no! See? I don't think you guys ever came in. Yeah, but yeah. the reason why is we didn't work I with Adley at the time. I know, but but Vic, we didn't work with Adley at the time. Like Adley was the overnight guy. I always oh, forget true, that. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. okay. So so you came to see your folks, and did you look in the paper for a radio gig, or like why even radio? No, I don't know. It, it might have been my mom or something that called Skyview. I I can't honestly, honest to God, or I flew out here and maybe called a few people it's alamo remember it's just been so so long but i'm just so grateful because i never would have met it wasn't a lot of money but at least i had something something yeah yeah it didn't that's, last long but then that's how i parlayed to meet all you guys so that's nuts so mm-hmm. so you meet alan sweetest guy in the world and dude yeah. me and alan would go back and forth on on the show it was uh-huh. kind of a bit, dude. Yeah, me and Alan, because Alan, because I'd be going. Pac would send me to Circle K to pick him up a coffee and a candy bar, and he and somehow it was always during Alan's break. So I'd be driving over to pick him up a candy bar and a coffee, and then Alan would go, "Where is Sketch at?" And then Pac would say, "Oh, he just drove up the road. Oh, we're paying him all this money to be a producer, and he's driving up the road." And meanwhile, I'm like, I'm getting five dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be hey, listen, people. five dollars is a lot okay? yeah you can work at mcdonald's now and make 15. Five I know. Was a lot, I <laughs> all right so so anyways so now that the the gig with alan ended at skyview you're saying mm-hmm. and then how did you meet paco and chico oh ah. she cut oh no Damn, we lost this her. is a good time to get water it's all right she'll call back in yeah, yeah. And we can, hey, let's do a couple shout outs because i don't want to put it put the shout outs up while uh while she's on because it covers up her face how much so, fun uh, are you having Dude, I, dude, Vicky is amazing. There's so much stuff I want to talk to her about too. If I'm cutting in too much, I apologize, but I love. <laughs> no, it. no worries, dude. You did a great interview. So, duck sauce is bomb. That is true. Danny P, would check it in. I don't know if he's still on there, but hey, what's up, Danny P? We're talking to one of our our, our co-hosts old. from the morning show back yeah. in the day, back in the day. So, hopefully, she comes back in here. She should. She will, she dude. Not, Hold on. In our notes. And, I even should say, I, uh, you want to text, text her real her? quick? I think yeah, so. Text her real quick. Why don't you and, tell uh, a, Why don't you tell your favorite Vicky story while I'm texting? I, dude, and here's the thing: we talk about Vicky being real. Like, 
we would put her up, uh, and she was down to do anything as far as like reading on the air, or whatever. Oh, dude, thank you for saying that because I want to ask her that story you don't remember. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because yeah, yeah, you guys want to stick around for that, right? If it's the same one I'm thinking of, yeah, here she is. She's back. She's back. She's I coming on. Come back. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, don't even you be sorry. What? Did oh, your engineer wow. husband fix it? My engineer husband. Say hi, Tim. What's this fella's name? Look at this handsome hey, guy. Hi, Tim. Early Holmes. Dude looks like a hey, dude Tim looks like a movie Tim. actor. Yeah, Tim Connell. Tim, you look like Hello, a movie sir. actor. He Tell does. him what he I said. Looks like Joe Namath. A Tell bit. him I said he looks like a movie actor. <laughs> you look like a movie actor. You look <laughs> like him. He's laughing. <laughs> so that's what Sketch says. You look like a movie so actor. He said Simone Carnell. <laughs> Simon Carnell. Simon Carnell. Okay. See, he's just as good as the only Spanish. Spanish he knows. You think right. I'm bad? Here we go. Oh, Here great. we go. Oh gosh. So, so okay, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, no, no, no worries. No worries. Um, because when I, you were gone, Adley reminded me of a of a story I wanted to bring up to you because he can't remember it, and I want to know if you remember it. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, so you you get fired from from Skyview? Is that what happened? You got fired, or did you just say I can't do this anymore? No, they kind of politely put me somewhere else. And I really had to think back about this because the dates, it's been so long, you know. I want to say it was 97, 98. And we make you, up dates all the time in this place. I know, me too, especially <laughs> my age. Um, but you remember, a, yeah, exactly. A station called Power 97.5. Yeah, I was gonna ask about yeah, because yep. that's, that's where we're I'll going with you. Yep. Yeah, because I think when I uh, got kind of cut, transferred from Mix FM and doing the traffic for them in the afternoon for Skyview and Ellen Case, somehow he placed me with KTUC, which was a talk station. I want to say it was Country Club in Glen. It had a big copper top roof. Kind oh, of thing. Okay. 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 And inside that station with the talk station were other one other affiliate, and that was Power 97.5. And that's where I met Dee Cortez. Remember Dee? Okay. Course, we talked yeah. about Dee on the show. She good, broke good. my fountain in my house. Lovely. She, she's she a drank pistol, too much. Man. She's a pistola. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she yes. trained me to do the traffic for KOLD on TV, but that's a different story. Okay. But yeah, so that's where I, uh, for some reason, I don't know, they took a chance on me, who's this white girl. I was mainly working talk radio for Tom wait, Hassey. Wait, at, Power 97.5 at this point is mm -hmm. like, come over to do what? Just d be a white girl doing the jive and the little No, no, no but like an on-air talent, like a weekend were you doing or, news? or on the mornings? No, I literally would run from the talk station, helping to run the board, doing news for the talk station, down the hall to Power 97.5 and do their little news breaks, which oh, was, was the, like okay, three okay. stories about MTV or J-Lo or whatever, okay. and then run back to the AM and run down the hall. And they gave me my first office, which was, I swear to God, a linen closet. <laughs> <laughs> but it did have a landline dude i love Ooh, i love vicky's deliveries big. of jokes like i forgot <laughs> i forgot about how she you know what i'm talking about Adley? exactly she that, like oh let me serious closet. but yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i freaking love her i forgot how much i love your deliveries oh, all right kind, yeah. no, here's the thing I, I was actually telling this to my wife the other night i was like you know vicky was really talented and she could write but i was so arrogant that i wasn't like vicky could you just write some bits for me because if you would have wrote those bits and I would have oh. produced them. I know. That's I what, right. Yeah. Dude, could you imagine this? I already told Pac this. I was like, and Adley, unfortunately, there's maybe there'll be two producers in this fake scenario. I'm sorry. Okay. But I told Pac, <laughs> I was like, if you and Chico and Vicky had me as the producer, and that was my only job was just to produce, could you imagine how oh. insanely good that show would have been? Oh, I think incredible. that show. I think that show would have gone to L.A., but neither here nor there. But Adley, you could have like oh, you could have been our other producer. You know how like sometimes <laughs> they have like nine producers or whatever it is on a show. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, uh, whatever. Absolutely. But well, you were a producer on that show though. Adley. But even right, yeah, because we continue to love those bits too, like the Very well, good the, one. the yeah. miseducation of Vicky Vai. Oh. I was a great down. one. Well, let's let's, one let's get to that because right yeah, now we're we, still oh at Power ninety seven five. Come on, so okay, so I, I've heard the 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 lore of of Vicky Vai sort of. So so clear me up if I'm wrong, and then we'll go from there. Is that fair? Sure. 
So Paco and Chico, from what I understand, and this is just kind of like urban legend from when we worked at the station, mm -hmm. met you and they thought that you'd be a good uh, morning show lady. And at the time you had blonde hair and the Batman movie had come out and the girl's <laughs> name was Vicky Vale. Yes. And so they said that wouldn't be a, that wouldn't be a very urban name for her. So they dubbed you with the name Vicky Valle. Is correct. that correct? Yeah. Look oh. at that. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. What's my name? Exactly. What's my name? I don't just do hip hop. What's my name, Yash? This is on page one of my notes. Oh, really? Yes, that's oh true. He said, I said at the time my maiden name was Bell. I'm Victoria Bell or Vicky Bell. And he right. said, That's okay. too white. I said, uh, Okay. Pardon me. Excuse me. What? And he said, Okay. Um, we Pac like said this. this to you? Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm like, okay, I've been here a month. <laughs> and uh, he said, you know, Vicky Vale's pretty cool. Kim, like, I'd love to look like Kim Basinger. Good night. Give me a break. He All said, white people yeah. look the same, though, Vicky. What are we supposed to do about it? I just know. Up to you. It's just, like, <laughs> just like the movie Animal House where they're like, I dub you walrus. Why walrus? Why not? He's like, you're by it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that vicky valle oh it's right. perfect I it, perfect i still use it I oh yeah still no. on tv once in a while put that down when i'm doing I'm like it's a badge of honor to me you know it is it should be unlike should the be. chino brothers nothing but a racist oh, name that d wayne come had given on. us <laughs> yeah. i know what you, you i know what don't say that. oriental never say oriental. <laughs> don't say yeah don't say oriental at least we know uh, that so <laughs> so going back to slap you it was supposed to be called. If you look, if if you could zoom in on my camera, on the on, that was our original graphics that keeps playing behind me. And if you look, it doesn't say Chino Brothers at the end, right there. It says Oriental Brain Experiment because that's what we were supposed to be called originally. And Adley couldn't remember the name, so I was like, "All right, Chino Brothers." Um, yeah, let's but, go back to Chino. <laughs> just keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right. So, oh god, man, this is gonna be really hard to edit because it's because we keep going with these crazy stories. Um. Okay. So now, um, you're you meet Paco and Chico. Um, and we've already done so many stories on on power. So Rich was there, Rich Donovan, Rich Donovan. Fred Rico, mm -hmm. um, Rascal. Uh, R Dub was there too, right? Doing. Oh, I try to forget yes, that guy. Yes, I yes. Try to forget, I try yes, to forget that fella. I, for, I forget. I forget. I, I should forget that fella. He was around. in a linen closet too back in the day. Now he's big pimping. <laughs> that was a euphemism <laughs> that he was in the linen closet, my man. But anyway, yeah. back to let's let's get Be back nice. to this. So. So you're you're around all these these cats and like it's when you when when the station shuts down and you guys go to hot um that was mean for me to say I shouldn't have said that about about dub that was really mean I was just hamming it up cuz Vicky's here I hope dub is having the best life in the whole world god bless this man um anyways um, Vic, it's hard because when I became a christian like that sketch still pops out where I say mean things but then I'm like I don't think the lord would want me to say that so now I have to make amends like I always do that now but anyways back to what I'm saying so now you guys go over to KOHT to to El Puente Lane to the to the scary trailer park um, down near the prison. Yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. That's right. Just if you drove uh, a little further, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you drove the wrong way leaving, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> How did this go now? Like like you're there and like, is it weird just being in this like completely foreign culture out of nowhere? It's just like here you go. <laughs> Like like was, we're all weird too. All of us were weird. It was slightly odd. The bathroom was charming. Oh no. Wow. Oh my Remember the one Gio? right next to the studio. All right, oh, hold dude. on. I have Ugh. to make a confession after 20 years. <laughs> Vicky, that was me. I used oh, to poop no. up that bathroom. No, it was not. It, it was, was. It was Tio. No, I blamed it, it on was Tio. Tio. I it blamed was it on Tio. Tio. No, but wait, then wait, you wait. know what I would do. Vicky, what did it smell like? Thing. It was awful, man. It was <laughs> awful. Was I was trying to narrow it down to whose it was. But you know like, what? Adley, I'm then I found that corporate bathroom over around the corner. On the other side? Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm never using that. that. Yeah, I'm never... You bastard. Paco had a key, though, right? Yeah, I think Paco, had a key I think Paco gave me the key. I used the corporate bathroom. Always did. Always. Man, Where that corporate for the bathroom. the sales side. Ugh. It was over on the other side where the sales department was. Oh, man, it was like pooping in a Cadillac. Dude, you know what? Toilet. I think Paco's office key worked for that door. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why was. I used to go that's poop in was. there. Oh, okay. I go Big poop in Papa. there. I pooped in there, and Jessica Simpson used that bathroom, too. Don't know what she did. Didn't She you know. was a virgin. And that's by true. the way, she made my list of notes. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's let's move up. So, so like, like you're, like, what, in my mind, like, what were you thinking? I, like, because to us, it's normal. All these weirdos, it's like, yeah, I grew up with guys exactly like this. You, it's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, I think I was thinking I could push it up to nine dollars an hour. <laughs> And that was pretty much it. Maybe full time with benefits. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, twenty yeah. hours a week with no insurance ever. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you all live that dream, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We remember oh, that too. God, I just, I just had so much fun. I mean, I, I said it many times, and I think I told Paco this once privately. I would do it again in a heartbeat for nothing. I, oh, I had man, so much fun. In fact, Paco's yeah. interview was like unbelievable to me that that to me I, I was in tears that's that's the real Paco the real the real yeah. Paco Paco yeah. Jacobo yeah he's a protector <laughs> he's the teddy bear great. man yeah, mm-hmm. yeah yeah well and I was too young to know these things back then you know it's yeah. it's hard because the, I'll say this the fun part about being good at the craft of speaking is that you can do it when you're old so if Adley and I were professional sure. skateboarders or boxers or something like that, it's like, dude, we're done. Sorry, friend. I'm not doing that. Um, but being yeah. able to try the podcast, it's like we're, we're professional speakers and you, you can do it forever. But now we have the maturity of mm-hmm. understanding what a blessing it is to talk to people and how much fun it can be and stuff like that. Instead of when we were young, it was about the money. We never made any of it, you know? You yeah, guys we, were awesome at the we club, tried. so. Oh, my God. Oh, we had a blast at the clubs, too. Vicky Mike. Rock the, the rock. mic, didn't you? You rocked the mic a couple yes. times as the rock, right? Yes. yes. I, I want to talk about that, but I want to get into this now. Now, you get okay, to okay, away from this interview. So, Vic, <laughs> now, now you and and Pac and Chico, like you guys took headshots together, and I knew. Remember, you guys were going to shop your show. Do you remember that? Vaguely, was it Phoenix? I mean, I don't know. L.A. would have been interested. Was it no, Phoenix? No, it was. It was Alan. Alan uh, from Cool ninety seven five. What was that guy's name? Alan, Alan Michaels. Alan oh, Michaels. Okay. He had a market for you guys, and oh. Pac was recording it and sending it over to him. Um, and then at that point, uh, Chico got fired. So, what notes do you have in between Hot Night or Power ninety seven five and when Chico got fired? I think we all got hosed at the same time. Well, it was yeah. all around the same time. Because I that's yeah. when I came in. When Chico got fired, then I came <clears throat> I came in and I was the producer and I produced for two years and then Adley came in after me. Yeah. I don't know what happened with Chico. I don't never got the full story. We're gonna get a hold of him too. Yeah, we yeah. will definitely we've been talking about him. Him. Paco said it was a corporate decision. Well and when he was on when he was on the show. I just remember the lovely article in the newspaper, you know, morning house party, all, you know, we got, you know, we have a place for all these. And then they said, we haven't found anything for Vicky yet. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my goodness. But I did, I did land somewhere else and talk radio, which was good, but I just heartbroken. You know, I had a nervous breakdown. You remember the Del Taco on Broadway in Euclid or yeah. Park? Oh, yeah. I had to put my little neon just sobbing. I just, Hit me. Oh, this I, is it, after, huh? Yeah. yeah. After this yeah. Game. yeah geez. Oh but we, gosh, you yeah. know, you know what it's like to be on a ship that's you can feel it come. And it was corporate uh-huh. radio. It was corporate everything. The thing and that's, is, you know, is that we were so not corporate. And that's mm-hmm. I think that that was the thing. And we were so wild, it's like, dude, y- y- we can't do this. Like you've got oh. You've got a vulgar Mexican guy. Oh. You've got you've got a Caucasian <laughs> lady. You know, you've got this this weird producer who says really controversial things, and then you have a gay guy, like oh Speedy. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were like, yeah. there's no way they'd be like, let's put this in 20 markets. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. In fact, one of my notes, the FCC. Had we even begun? Can you imagine? What about YouTube? What about it? I mean, I used to, I have to apologize. Can I apologize to all the mothers that were driving their children oh, yeah. in the car, Holy please, cow. from the bottom of my heart? Vicky, saying, we used to go to these middle schools oh. and the kids would know us. And I'm like, your parents let you listen to that show? <laughs> Five-year-olds. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I mean, well, Paco, Paco took an obscene word, which I can't say in Spanish, that rhymes with jamón, which means ham in Spanish. But it started with the letter M and then looped it with my yeah, voice. Yeah. Come on, come on, oh, come on. Vic, I, this is my question for you. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Thanks, Paco. To see if you remember. Do you remember the time Adlai recorded a promo for his show and he had you moan in the background and was like, oh, yeah. oh, we're going we're gonna to disguise your voice. We're going to disguise your voice. And then it sounded just like you and you're so mad. <laughs> Dude, she, 
we're sitting there on the show and she was so mad paco got out of the room paco walked out of the room and she was like adley said he was gonna disguise my voice i'm like man i'm not adley i didn't so do that i'm the other asian guy i know we look alike that ain't me it was, it was obscene it was like donna summer with i love to love you baby okay okay oh was just, i can't Gosh, I don't remember this that. commercial i don't oh, I, I don't remember know. this oh, i don't I, remember dude, it vicky so adley it was you and d wayne <laughs> i'm sorry and you were like oh, yeah, it was you and d wayne i, I don't know how I d wayne this. remembers this it was you and Dwayne, and you guys were like, "Hey, you watching this?" And then you start eating, and like you guys crunched Cheech out on his in the microphone, so it sounded like you were eating. And then he, all of a sudden, it's Vicky moaning in the background. That. Yeah, and you're like, "This is almost as good as all oh, night like every crazy. night with Adley." And that was that was the I remember this, and it was clearly oh. Vicky's voice. And on, on top of it, oh like my God. every weirdo in Tucson would ask us when we were anywhere, hey, what does Vicky look like, eh? Oh, no! What, what kind of what kind of dudes does she like, fool? And it's like, well, <laughs> not usually people that just got out of prison mm. there, friend. Oh, so. speaking of which, page four, okay. letters from La Pinta. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yes. Dear Holmes, I'm innocent. <laughs> I once mailed a photo to an inmate and Paco said I was insane. Do you know what he's doing with that photo right now? <laughs> but the cool part is the innocent ones used to like sketch me. It was weird. Or like they do Bugs Bunny once in a while or the raccoon or whatever. But then they'd send you a picture back of yourself that was just pen and ink. But then I never mailed any more pictures again. <laughs> That was a little awkward. Yeah, <laughs> letters from Lapita. We <laughs> hold on, dude. Did you just not hear what Vicky said? Oh, say that again. She would again. send those glossy eight by tens to oh, listeners yeah. as like a, a hey, thank you for listening to us. Yeah, right. And then they would then they would write they would draw pornographic cartoons with her face on it <laughs> from that picture. You know what? Arts in the eye of the beholder. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yes, and it was crazy because the mail would come, and you'd be like, "Oh, letters from Lapita," and, and Vicky would come in, got a brand new letter. Oh my gosh, it'd be so exciting! And then yeah, open it up oh, and be, okay. be a, a drawing, a fingerprint <laughs> that one, because it may come in handy twenty years from now when we have DNA evidence. <laughs> All right, so. So so um oh Chico God. gets fired and and like you love Chico a lot. Like I think you I think you just adore Chico. I, I, I think did, yeah, I I love them both. They're very different men. I mean yeah, Chico I, was like yeah, very, if Paco's the protector and kind of the hidden teddy bear, although he could have an edge, Chico was more like he'd challenge you intellectually and a couple of things, which was good. I mean, we needed mm. some playback on the show and but um, yeah, sometimes politics, sometimes um, sometimes he'd just give me a lovely compliment. Like one time before it was trendy, I'd say women of color and we go to a break. He'd say, you know what, Vicky, that was really good. And be like, really? Yeah. I wow. could see that. Yeah, yeah I could totally yeah. see that. Man, that sucks. You had to work with me next because I was the opposite <laughs> of Chico. Oh, was, you were was... fun. Oh, you man. Me? Well, you I'll say this. Killing. You're so good together. I'll say this. Um, I think that like it was a, a rough start at first and I'd say things that were impolite and it would offend Vicky. But then she came with me to the rock one night. I was like, you have to come to the rock, Vicky. And she was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Dude. And she didn't come for like three weeks too, bro. Like I invited you for like three weeks, Vic. And then finally you came to the rock. And then, and then I was like, we got to go up to the bird perch. We went up on the perch. Oh, Vicky standing there. Yeah. <laughs> and I handed her the, the microphone and, and you were playing the Rough Riders anthem. And she knew the intro to the oh. Rough Riders anthem. Oh my God. It was so dope. Vic, can you do that? Do you still remember it? I don't. Oh, I, fudge. I know. All right, I'll do it. I'll, I'll pretend I'm you. I'll pretend I'm you. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll remember. Go. All right. It went. And Vicky, you'd go. My dogs go. Stop. <laughs> Your dogs go. Drop. And then we go. Shut them down. Open up shop. First we had them like, oh, oh. Dogs, now they're like, oh, oh my baby. Yeah. <laughs> So Vicky rocks the mic, dude, and like it's the most addictive thing. Like rocking the mic oh, to a crowd, isn't it addictive? It. I do some M and M, but my brain is so bad now. I love M and M, <laughs> and that was another cool thing about Paco, and he talked about it. He was not afraid to bring in some things that were not 
so oh, hip yeah. at the time. Yeah. You know, white guy. He was really good about that. He was a good mm-hmm. program director. Mm-hmm. Pac is a good Excellent. Guy. He always talks about yeah. Fred Rico um, being such a good program director. And I was I never worked with Fred, so I can't tell you one way or Didn't another. <clears throat> what I can tell you is one night – um, one of the mixers didn't turn their mix in and Malik's is like, I don't have an hour of music. Oh, nice. And me and Pac were coming back from somewhere and Pac goes, hold on, bang, 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 bang. And he loaded up an hour of music and he goes, sketch, look at that hour. That is the most badass hour you've ever nice. seen. And I looked at it yeah. and it was. I bet it was. I was, like, I was like, man, you did that in like three minutes. And he's like, hey. Yeah. Well, he his was... mom ran that record shop, remember Yoli? That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yoli's. Yoli's, yes. Yeah. Yoli's too. music. Yeah. Lovely people. Oh my gosh. She'd always say, "I'm sorry for my son." <laughs> yeah, she would say that. But and here's the and they great people. I love Pac's family. Yeah. Um, but here's the next thing that was really cool too was um, Adlai had you on the turntables, and I remember you were keeping the the beat by by tapping your foot, and you were like, "This is just like dancing or ballet." I think you said, "Yes, this is like ballet." Well, and, it was me, you know, doing the whole thing. <laughs> it was cool. It was, but it was cool because you beat matched really nice. You did. You remember that, Adelaide? I remember that too. And I remember the the yeah the dancing, the tapping the feet, and just being like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was ballet when you said like, yeah, so just keep in time with everything. It is. Like, I was. Oh, the, yeah. It was very. I was a good hoofer. I was better at tapping than than ballet, but it was a little yeah. too chunky. Or maybe back it then. was tap dance. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I felt like it was ballet. And tap but anyways, meets. maybe it was tap. But anyways, <laughs> neither here nor there. It was one of those things that I don't watch. Um, anyways. <laughs> Back to what I'm saying. So then after that, I feel like that's when when things got fun. Um, what was so if there's if there's three memories that you would take from Hot 98.3, what oh, would God. they be? Ooh, that's good. That's a good question. Oh, my God. Are these like neighborhood stories or just the station? I mean, it's wide open. Let, oh, let America let America know what the only Caucasian that we liked in that building enjoyed <laughs> and you can't blame us for not liking the other three caucasians because no matter what nationality they were we wouldn't have liked them um <laughs> oh I, I i gotta say bitwise the the jive the miseducation of the miseducation Bayer. really uh-huh and yeah. i'll tell you i got most a lot of my of fun. all my good material came from a group of girls they were all colors and shapes and sizes and young girls that worked at the Dunkin' Donuts at Oracle and Raju. Remember, was that a block yes. you know, yeah. from Clear Channel? And I go there and we chain smoke and they'd hand me notes. You know, we wrote. You know, it was every oh, Friday wow. the segment. That's so clever. they or they'd save up and they write notes and they'd say, "Here's how you use it in a sentence." And then they'd hook me up with Munchkins. I give them twenty eight thousand CDs <laughs> and we go out in the patio, drink coffee, and chain smoke, and then I go back to work. <laughs> so, but that to me, I got more feedback on that and more joy out of that. I, I remember just... times when we'd run out of words for you to describe. So the bit went like this, you guys, there'd be a, a, a term of, of uh, Ebonics that mm-hmm. Vicky would read. Ebonics. She would, she'd read it very Caucasian. And then she would explain what it meant. And then she'd use it in a sentence. <laughs> but whatever that sentence was, was going to be some wild stuff. Like it wasn't just going to be, here's a normal sentence, mm-hmm. you know, whatever the word was. And then the rest of the sentence, it would be wild. Like it would just be the, whatever the wildest thing Vicky could say. And that's the next thing I was respected about you, Vic. You never backed off. Although Adelaide, you shouldn't have made her moan like she was in a porno. <laughs> because she so like, like, like. You, I you never like, backed off. You do everything. That was that was another cool thing. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure Paco had me had me pull that like shortly after that. I'm sure he's like, dude, don't play that anymore. I feel like dude, you don't even remember that. You don't even don't remember, remember that it, I feel like it played three times an hour on the morning house yes, party, and did. I'd be like, it was like the why hamon hamon hamon. So I have an example here. After throwing <laughs> bows, I would cruise in my whip, flashing my dookie rope. That's right. Ooh, that's perfect. Nice. Dookie from the, that's from the mis- miseducation of Vicky Valle. Dookie, and I'm assuming the dookie, dookie rope was the word. <laughs> yeah, so, so somebody would put in a word, Vicky would give the definition of the word, and then she'd have a sentence. But the, like you guys, it was so much fun because it was we were all in on the joke and we weren't in on the joke. Because it was kind of like, it's funny to make Vicky, the white person, talk jive, but at the same time, it's always like, yeah, that's just Vicky. Like, that's yeah. just Vicky, and that's just what Vicky's going to do. Like... I never, yeah. even if like I, I'd ever said mean things about like being Caucasian to you, Vic, and I apologize for oh, that right you now. Never, I, oh my God, are you crazy? No. I will say this. I never even thought about it. 
What about you, Adelaide? Like, I never, like, obviously we make, we make cracks about her being white, but like, I never thought about her as a white person. Like, oh, this is weird. There are white persons in the room. You know what I mean? It was always like, oh yeah, this is just another brown person. Well, the white she's the Weta Frijoleta. <laughs> she's exactly, I know it all. She's exactly the Weta Frijoleta. I've seen everything. <laughs> I definitely remember just that uh, Vicky Vaya was just a part of the show. Another person on the morning house party. You didn't, yeah, you didn't think about race or color or upbringing no. or anything. You just thought, Man, Vicky Vai is super entertaining. She, you know, she's bringing laughs to the to the well, room. We all know that everybody heard her mispronounce every Spanish word she said, and like <laughs> we never thought about it. We're, like, we're never like, dude. Okay. One oh my time. god! Remember when I called Shug Knight Suge? Yeah, and you called and you called Kanye <laughs> Kane. Yes. You called yes. Kanye yes. Kane. No, yeah. I did not. Yes, you did. It was a Y E. You, so, you know what? Suge, the G silent. What is that? <laughs> but, but, Suge Knight. Suge but, Knight. Neither here. Suge, Suge, don't oh. call me Suge Knight. Hold on, Vicky. Do you remember <laughs> yes. when we called the McDonald's where where uh, old dirty bastard had snuck out? He'd snuck out of the rehab and went to the McDonald's and got caught. And you called the McDonald's. Do you remember that? Exactly. Oh, like so awesome. Because me and Paco tried it, and they hurt. Like they could tell from our voice that, like, oh, you were so just I gonna, made it. Yeah, yeah, you were the third one, I and you were like, "Hi, how's it going?" You're, Hello, and they were young all man. the way down. Yeah, and then you were like, "Can you tell me what happened with the old dirty bastard?" And like, "Thank you, ma'am." And they just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> she made, I think I tried to call Mirabel about a Whitney Houston too. I mean, my oh, God, God, we go so far back. Everybody's dead. But that's blessing. that's the thing. You're that's you're true. like a very proper lady, and you would do these just wild things. It was fun. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> what about now? Now, do you remember Dick Paco, Mike? You started that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I remember take, Dick Paco. You take audio from like artist interviews and then intertwine them with like Paco and Vicky talking. Yeah. Well, here's the problem. The only yeah, Vicky's now remembering it. Um, oh god. We didn't have so many. We didn't have so many sound bites back then. So like, I'd have to go off of whatever that sheet was they sent us. So that's first. But oh, second, that's complete crap. sheet. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> but but second, I'll tell you guys both this. Like that whole bit I set up for one reason and one reason only. And I got fired before I got to pull it off. Oh no. On the last episode of Senior Paco or of, of Senior Dick, right? Yes. Um I wanted Beef to come in and say to Paco, Senior Dick, and then I want Pac to say, then quit looking. That was my whole that was my whole <laughs> reason really good, for actually. setting up senior it's dick bad. yeah that, like it was all leading up to that joke at the very end like our last Aww. episode of it was going to be that and then i got fired before it happened it. yeah but at least i got to tell you guys the story That's and i've cool. never told anybody that story before i've Everybody never told you that story now, my friend. all right all right come on come on so so uh mm. your 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 three favorite things come on you you didn't you didn't give them to us you gave us one you gave us your bit mm. so you have one bit mm -hmm. uh some of the interviews were pretty epic go ahead give me one uh Shaq. And didn't you get one of Shaq's shoes? I don't know. I you know, I got a oh another goat. Mariah Carey's butt pads. Yeah. Or, no, I remember sorry. that. It was, it was her, her pants. It was her it was her jeans. Yeah, I and know. I, we got in an argument about that, Vic. Because I said you weren't thick enough to fill them out, and now you got so mad at me. I was, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm complimenting you because you're skinny. But dude, back then it was probably a size six or eight. She's like a fourteen man. It's like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she was pretty. She was but pretty. and Pac was like, "You look so much better with those butt pads." Oh. <laughs> got, remember the horrible chairs in the studio? Yeah, that was falling mm. off the damn bench the whole time. A huge butt. That was fun. No, though. you didn't have a huge butt. You were, well, with, you were with the pads. With the oh, pads. With the pads. Dude, the it was pads. like the Titanic on there. And Shaquille O'Neal, that was fun. Because I got to give him crap about the Bulls, Bulls fan. And, you know, who kicked his oh, behind? Michael Jordan. That's Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's but right. I could list 20,000 things for you guys. It's just a few things. There's so many. Going right, to Ma cool. Alex's prom. Remember oh, Malik? Oh, yes. Dude, I told that story. I told that story the first time Paco came on, and Pac didn't remember one thing. Like, like I'm telling him about how we got kicked out. Remember, we got kicked out of the prom. Maurice you remember that? Goes, well, first we took the poor girlfriend to the Mariscos Chihuahua. Yeah, it was dope. Oh, man, I got my dude, It was delicious. Dude, all they had was seafood there. I was like, yeah. cat food. I'm like, nah. <laughs> and then, and then That's perfect like, for a date, huh? <laughs> Smelling like fish the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna juice and 
Oh, dude, I, <laughs> I crushed that place that night. Oh, my God. That poor child. I mean, really, it was his prom. I felt so bad. But he did get a lot of attention, which yeah, is good, no. right? He brought me beads from 9-11. I'll never forget that about really? the kid. Wow. He's from, like, the Bronx or Queens. He went Where? back when that was still a hole in the ground and brought me these mm. beautiful homemade red, white, and blue God bless America. I still we, wow. we had yeah. Malik's on the show not that long ago. No way. Yeah. Yep, you, yep. Look at our YouTube channel. It has all our old old okay, episodes well, on it. Is he like but, 30 now with two kids? Yeah, or? he doesn't have an he doesn't have an he has accent one kid. anymore. He has one okay, kid, okay. but he has no yeah. he doesn't have an accent anymore. So I freak out the whole episode. I'm like, dude, your voice sounds weird. Your voice sounds weird. Was yeah. he faking it? Or no, like he just lost it. Because think about it. He's lived in Tucson so now long. for 20 yeah. years. And New York's real hard to shake, though. I'm shocked. Well, good for him. Yeah, yeah he's but still he's, in he's doing real well. Yeah, he's, yeah, still, he's still out there. Too. All right, he's come on. There. You, you got to give us the third one. So, because I know that that stupid prom wasn't the third one. That it was fun, but all right, I'll give you my best one. All right, <laughs> and it's not directly related to the station, but I was headed to the station at five thirty in the morning in the hood on Twelfth Avenue, two blocks from the prison, and I was late. And I was was I ever late? No, no. Nah. Okay. I was late. <laughs> so I was late. I, I don't know if I overslept or the car gave me trouble or whatever. It was so early in the morning. Sure enough, here come the popo. I'm doing maybe 35. Remember that small stretch? It was like 25 miles an hour right before you got to El Puente. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was that short. I don't know if it's school zone. It's five in the morning. It's no school session. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my God. So I pull over in my little Dodge Neon leaking oil all over the damn road. <laughs> Roll down the window, which was manual. I'm sorry, officer. Can I help you? Where are you going? I'm like, where do you think I'm going? I'm not turning. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> what am I turning tricks out here? It's like five in the morning. I work. I am going to work. Where do you work? I work at Hot 98.3 on El Puente Lane. And then he looked at me and he said, do you have any CDs? Oh, my gosh. Uh. <laughs> I said, well. How many would you like? He said, everything. And I opened that little trunk and that neon, and they took everything I had. Oh, Probably, what? and I'm talking about, remember the boxes Paco used to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're lucky, he, like his 12, Paco had just given me, I don't know why, maybe to for weeks at For a, time a situation and, like this. Yeah, yeah. well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They took probably at least four dozen. Holy and I get cow. warning, have a nice day. And then I got Whoa. to the station. Paco's all freaking out. We thought you got in a wreck. I told him what happened. And sure enough, he talked about it for three hours. I'm like, Paco, <laughs> I got a warning. The gentleman gave me a warning. He has my license plate from the Dodge Neon. It's like, the police, you know, but no, bo po po. <laughs> Ice Cube played for 14 hours. <laughs> That's another good one. I got to meet O'Shea Jackson at the wow. TCC. Oh, dude. Oh, he's at the concert, real, huh? Yeah, he's not real tall. He's built like a brick house, right? Mm -hmm, but um, mm -hmm, I looked mm -hmm. at him. I said, uh, Nappy Dugout changed my life. Wow. <laughs> and he looked at me like, who's this white woman? That's awesome. That is awesome. I wish I would have met Ice Cube, man. Dude, I, I took him. I had a chance to meet Snoop, but I was more of a cube girl. Oh, I know you're yeah, an Ice Cube fan. I just fan. had to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh man, I, I, I mean, who's great actor nice? too. Like, yeah, I'm a phenomenal yes. rapper, man. We 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 talked about him uh, on the NWA episode a couple of episodes ago. But my gosh, do I love Ice Cube? All right, yeah. so your so your your third favorite memory was getting pulled over by the cops and had it's and had up him, there. Holy yeah. cow! Hey, getting Crazy. out of a ticket that's a good thing too. Yeah, and, hey. yeah. Be yeah. Tell dude, tell the audience system, about Danny. Yeah. Take all the CDs you want. <laughs> oh, where were you, Adley, where were you going to ask him? You guys talked about him recently, right? Yeah. Hmm. I, oh, I was going to say that. What was your your hip hop rapper crush? Did you have one back? I felt I, like I think it was did. Ice Cube. I think it was. Ice I was going to say, is it? Was it? Who was it? Uh, I'm going to maybe say Genuine. Oh, or as I used to call him, oh, yeah. Genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Who played Pony bachelor. for me? <sighs> Oh yeah, and Pony. Pony was the jam. <laughs> We're horny. Let's do it. Ride in my pony. You know, I requested that in Vegas once, and sure enough, they played it on the street. 
<gasps> and dozens of people ran in downtown. There were four queens, and they were all grooving to that. People love that song. Yes, that song is play, vulgar. Oh, it's excellent. <laughs> I think it's good, wholesome music. <laughs> I would teach that in public school. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, the nineties, the nineties hip hop and R and B. Oh, that yeah. music dirty, was so vulgar dirty. when you listen to it. Think <gasps> about the people we, the Nate Dogg's dead. I mean, sometimes I'm like, mm. who's dead? You know, it's like the oh, celebrity yeah. death lottery. Whitney Luther, yeah. Nate Dogg. Uh, who else died recently? Another rapper. I it's just the list goes on and on. It's yeah. awful, you know. Whitney. <sighs> that was yeah. sad. That was oh, sad. Very sad. Her, her daughter in a bathtub. Oh, the same awful. Age. Yeah. Awful, yeah. yeah, dude. And well, Speedy, rest yeah. in peace. Speedy Andy was B, man. Right? Andy B passed. Yeah, that was Andy Speedy, B was like Speedy yeah. died. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Oh, you didn't know that. Died. I'm sorry. Know. Yeah, that was like that was a two maybe two years ago now. Oh. He had he had sadly not to bring the show down or anything. Don't say it. Yeah. Great comedy died. show. Sorry guys, diabetes. but yeah. Diabetes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus, okay. that's how his mother passed. Yeah, yeah, oh but Speedy was the one yeah. of the most entertaining dudes oh, God. ever. And and you know what? It was you were the, the two girls on the show. I mean, it was Speedy yeah, we and were. Vicky. Yeah. It was, <laughs> and I've got to I gotta My find sister. this. But oh, I don't God know if you remember him. Vicky. We we did a remake of I Got Hose and Poppy Chulo Paco sang it. Oh Vicky God. and Speedy, they're what my hose. But it, so I gotta find it. I gotta find. We did a remake of it. Did you? You must. Did you write that? I bet. You yeah. Wrote that. Yeah. I wrote yeah, that. Yeah, I gotta find it. I got it somewhere. Oh, please. But please. Remember when we did I got um, hose. Oh God! I wrote the the Star Wars parody. Remember that? Oh my Dude, gosh! Wrote, I wish we had amazing that. Amazing parodies. No. I wish we had that. Oh yeah, no! Yeah. Your parodies were awesome. Like Titanic. Dude. I remember, oh God. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you did the um, the Survivor parody and I was Jarvis? Yes. I, and then, did I write that too? You I did. Know, oh, that. You oh my God, that was such a funny, it was the funniest parody. You're such a good writer. Like now as an adult, I'm like, why didn't I just ask Vicky? Like, dude, write me five bits, please. Oh, you're, too you're kind. You no, guys I'm, are I'm great. being completely honest great with you. too. Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, I just did it at home. I was single. I, you know, just go home on my old retro horrible computer with the bad and just right the mexican yeah. brady bunch do you guys remember that one the <laughs> mexican brady bunch and did you write that vicky she did and what was the what was the what was the secretary's was, name the, was it marcia 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 martina martina yeah oh no the, the secretary at koht yeah. so it's like oh he wanted to goose oh. her yeah, yeah. let me wanted to goose me <laughs> she, oh i think uh, La, not Lorena. No, uh, look on that Facebook group. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I can't remember. Lucia, was but it an L? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah, so Vicky yeah, wrote wonderful. her. Yeah. Vicky wrote her as as uh, the maid, as Alice the Alice. maid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, "Yeah, I'm hanging out with that Gooser Sam later on tonight." Oh like, my it was God. so <laughs> funny. I remember her. Oh, she's great. What was her name? Oh my That's, God. We're trying she to remember. So she loved me though. She, but we she called was, her Ghetto. Remember dude, that was her was nickname ghetto. was Ghetto. Yeah, because she's we called. Her, remember we called her Ghetto, and we called her Ghetto it. to she her face. Gangster. She yeah. loved it. She loved it. She was like, she call was, me old white one. I don't love it. It's a badge of honor. She it was, loved it. Ghetto. Remember, we called her ghetto, but she was Cynthia. Cynthia. That was her name, Cynthia. Cynthia you're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She was yeah. hot as a pistol. She was one of the most attractive humans. Like She's had a figure, hot. had a figure yeah. like Jessica Rabbit. Probably but was like so seven, ghetto. Seven kids. Yeah, <laughs> she was so ghetto. Everybody's like, I can't go out with that girl, man. Dude, I loved her. I would Well, she'd shiv you, bro. Oh, she yeah, I remember her. Dude, yeah. if you got in a bar fight, that's one. You She'd have your her. back. Ooh, she dude. loved you, Adley. Probably have the shank out there. Oh, and everything. she loved Adley so much. Oh, she, she did. Oh, she loved I remember you. that. Oh, she, she loved you. You had a crazy girlfriend back then, didn't I, you? Adley or me? Both of us did. Both of us so, had some crazy, yeah. crazy I'm ones. Sorry. Both of you. Yeah. The two of you. <laughs> Yeah. I even well, you remember Paco's words of wisdom when when we started going on the air. He's all, "Don't date the listeners. There's two things about them. They're either psycho crazy, or I'll put this in a nice way. They don't look like how they tell you they look yeah. like." <laughs> oh, that's, I'm saying that in a nice way. But oh. and he was right. He was right. Oh we my found god! Out the hard way. <laughs> found out the hard way. It's like those dating apps where you post a picture from 80 years ago where you're 100 pounds center. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh. And, really? and, and me and Mike would, would hang out in the mix show. He'd come through on the mix show 
Let's oh talk to chicks. Every <laughs> what do you look like? <laughs> Dude, I'd be working all week and then Adelaide would do that mix on Friday night and I'd party still time. cruise through. Yeah, I'd still party cruise time. Yeah. Like, bro, get on the phone. Come on, man. Tell yeah, the Gina brothers coming through. Oh my oh. God. Remember how we got blamed for every shooting at the rock? I love oh, that. Yeah. Cause you know, it's like Jungle it's music. funny now, but oh whatever you gosh. call it, whatever yeah. racially insensitive thing, yeah, it was always our fault. Well, and hip hop oh wasn't like it, like people who who aren't around as long as we've been around don't understand. Like now, hip hop's on every pop station. Rappers oh, yeah. are just normal celebrities. Back then, we were like breaking the law by playing this music. It was like, okay, totally. well, if you're, yeah. if you're already gonna look at us like we're garbage, guess what? Let's turn this up to seven. Let's have let's have a gangster do a, a, a school lunch bit on our show. Let's do you know whatever we can do. Let, let's have a, a midget on this. Whatever we can do to be the weirdest thing we can be. Now yeah, you're getting mad. Yeah, well, I think it's like renegade. I'm proud. Yeah, you know, fun. for whatever no doubt. part when we had freedom. And freedom yeah. is a big thing right now, especially right now. But yeah. I mean, we didn't have corporate America crushing us. Yeah. Could you imagine playing those bits today? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we'd be in Facebook jail times a thousand. Forever. We'd be in real jail. Lose our house, go to prison. Oh my gosh. Dude, the things we said in Spanish alone that oh, I didn't yeah. know I was saying. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> And there's what another a, thing about eggs, huevos, you maybe say. Good night. Dos Let me hear it. Siento dos huevos. A hundred eggs. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> holding, holding somebody's Feel genitals. Them, world. <laughs> yeah, you're holding somebody's genitals. I forgot about it. that one. Well, what was the... What was the uh, Te lo lavas? No, that oh, one was good. Have but, you washed? Yeah. <laughs> that I know. No, Vicky. The, uh, the one um, that it was for your hair. Oh, that God. was you, Adley. Was that from something about Mary? I don't want to think Pelos. about it. Pelos. De lavas? No, of corn. Pelos de... Corn? De lote. Pelos de lote. Pelos de lote. Pe hair. Pelos de lote. So it's hair of corn? Cause hair of the corn? Like you know when Because you, when you pull the husk off, there's like the, the blonde the yellow hair. Yeah, yellow hair. <laughs> Gross. What an animal. <laughs> I'm going to text him later. I got his number. Her. <laughs> there comes the real Vicky when she finds out what the stuff is. Perverted. Oh, oh my gosh. Double I was, that is too funny, dude. Yeah, dude yeah. I need they more crack gin, up. And, gin and juice here. Pardon me. All right. So, <laughs> so, like, so, I mean, my God, like, this, this talent came to the came to the ghetto and then you worked with us and you worked with the boys before us, you know, so you were such a legacy. Like me and Adley weren't legacies. You know what I mean? Like, like mm -hmm. dollars. So dollars, me and him were talking the other day and he's like, dude, people ask me all the time, you know, where'd you get that name? And I'm like, from sketch. And they're like, really? And I'm like, people give a crap with it, what that guy would have said. Um, <laughs> but like, when I look at you guys, Adley, do you feel that way? The, the power 97 five guys, D doesn't it seem different like level, whole different seniors. level. Yeah. They're seniors. Yeah. Oh, we're freshman. seniors, all right, man. <laughs> we're talking upper yeah, class. No, yeah, upper, so, upper class. You guys are so kind, though. You upper classmen that never age. You humble yeah. me. You know, no I'm humbled way. by you. Holy goodness, are you it's talent. Same here. Just to same see here. what you all are doing right now is you hung on. You guys are the pioneers. You hung on. I don't know about all yeah, that. and and you know what? I don't. And Mike, we're not we're not stopping too because we really we've talked about getting you and Paco. And, and Chico, Chico yeah. on the same one, oh, I'd so love I that. think that yeah. would be a blast. And I and I'm gonna find some of those old bits. I know I got a couple recordings oh somewhere, but oh my gosh, it was dude back in the '90s. It was magic. It was great. And and so dude, much fun. Yeah. When you Mike, when you talk about they invited us to schools, yeah, we'd go to schools and talk to these kids like we were a positive influence. And you just thought, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I have dude. some stories about that too. Go ahead. Let me hear him. Let me hear him. <laughs> Let's hear him. I don't know if I should do it. Yeah. Come on, do give up a story because then we'll get to the news and and we'll crack me and you, Vic, will crack on the news and you don't even have to read the news this time. But anyways, awesome. On, give, us, give us okay. Give us these. Well, uh, you know there was stories. a special needs school really close to the station. Okay. Remember it? Okay. It was like deaf and blind kids and stuff. So I always had to drive at my neon, and they were traveling with me, the two hosts and. They're kind of cracking jokes before. I'm like, you know what? Get it together. Don't say anything. <laughs> I was like the mother. 
And then I'll, I always have to go to like Pat's Chili Dogs afterward. But right. I just, dude, I slap them into place. But then once you get to school, they're like Mother Teresa. It's great. <laughs> it's like the Pope. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. You know the coolest thing about that school, besides the kids who were awesome, is that you think, why would people in radio go to a school where people can't hear? It's because they hear the bass. They can yeah. feel it. Yeah. So that okay. was... An interesting trip. But then I remember Pueblo, which was like a prison. Oh, my God. Speedy High school, to- Pueblo High. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? How yeah. bad? Pueblo, yeah. yeah. The kids were always there. so happy to see us and, you know. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. That's and where we met, got Malik's the date. That's was where that we Pueblo? Got he went to Pueblo? Yeah. No, he didn't go to Pueblo. The, the, his date went to Pueblo. Oh, okay. Yeah. She okay. was a okay. pretty girl. Yeah, what happened was me and Malik's had to do this school. We stood up on the van, and I was like, Malik's, point out the baddest girl in this school. I feel like you were with me, Adlai, or maybe it was Tootie. And he pointed to that girl, and I walked over, and I was like, hey, you want to go to the prom with the guy from the radio? And she was like, yes. And I was like, come over, and I introduced her to Malik's. God. How many CDs did you give her? Dude. <laughs> I think, no. Malik's a handsome boy. Oh, oh, I love him. Think, I'm, I'm kidding, that was Malik. great, though. That was great. Yeah. That, was, that was like you couldn't have timed that better. Think, think of that though. Just think of that. Corrupting a seventeen-year-old boy oh, sure. and having him 16. work at a radio station, like that. I look back and I'm like, Lord, when I die, please forgive me for at least that one. Like, like oh, that was bad. <laughs> you know, like, that, that was awful. You're not supposed to bring a child in that environment. Oh hell, I once got a call in New York from a fake talent agent. You want to go play some tennis and wear high heel shoes and short shorts? I'm like. You're not an agent. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for calling. I'm not taking a train. Not falling to for that Island again. In my underwear, and I can't play tennis. So, yeah. whatever. Oh, oh, good times, good right? times. Oh, hey, God. so so we should do this. Will be like a blast from the past. Doing some actual news with Vicky Vai. Uh, dude, that's what I'm saying, dude. Hold this on, real cool. quick. As okay. we're about to do that news, because I really want to do it. Vic, do you remember that time you bought that bling from Alex? And you had a call, like it was the back of a Rolling Stone magazine, and you called the guy, and he's like, "This is Heischel, the king of bling." And you bought Malik, <laughs> you bought Malik that fake chain. You were so proud of it. You're like, "Malik, I got you something." I thought it looked legitimate. Oh, it did. It definitely. I'm sorry, did. legit. That's it. All right. What was it? What was Malik's reaction when you gave it to him? He liked it. He was happy. He dug it. Oh, Malik, okay. You can give Malik's a cookie. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> I, it's, you know, here's he was cookie. excited just to be there for he sure. He's just yeah. a sweet, you know, uh, Bubba. But he's un- all skinny uncorrupted. Now. Is he all skinny? Is he, now, he's like skinny Paul? and handsome. Like, See he, what I mean? Uh, like he's slick. A play, he's, yeah, he's a playboy now. Hold on. But, okay. As we're about to tell mm-hmm. the news, because I want to do that. So, so everybody, we get bought out. Um, they disband the morning house party. And then what happened? Oh, you're talking now. You're talking about when when you don't you'd already split. Yeah, and I'd was, already been so, fired. Yeah, you I remember that bought, too. You were you were you were producing, and then they came in and were like, "Hey, we're bringing in Dirty Sanchez or something." Like what? I what? can't. I just bought Kid and Ruben. They bought Brit. Yes, they typed in Kid and Ruben from Phoenix. That's right. Correct. Dude, is, oh, and I don't know yeah. if this is a tomato or not. I was thinking about this. Do you remember Puerto Rico, the overnight guy? Yeah. Why would that be a tomato? Is that for, a tomato for because, Vicky or for me? Because remember, we because. Oh, by the way, Vicky, if you want us to back up on something, say like, the word tomato. It's like Fifty Shades of Gray. It's a safe word. <laughs> I was just, look at the word. look at my red room back here. It's a safe word. Safe word. Not I'm like down. No, but he, down. But it was it was all part of the plan too, because he would he would be meeting with with uh, the Clear Channel people, uh-huh. and we didn't know what was going on. We just thought everything was normal. Then all of a sudden. They're like, hey, you know, they they pulled us. Mm-hmm. Art LeBeau was in town, and I remember, you know, at first we're like, Paco's like, oh, it's, you know, it's a usual trip. Art LeBeau's coming in, and then I think there was somebody from Clear Channel or something floating around, and Paco and Vicky, because Vicky the whole morning was like, we're getting canned today. This is the uh-huh. day. Art Vicky's, LeBeau's coming in. Vicky's a witch. I'm a bruja. And I really <laughs> sense bad things. Idea, dude. I knew for a while. You just know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the day it happened too, she's like, "This is it." This and Paco's on, "Nah, dude, nah." You know, Art LeBeau's coming through. He's gonna visit, whatever. Blah blah blah. It's Please. whatever. But Vicky's all, "Nope, today's the day." Today, and sure enough, we got off at, off the air at ten o'clock, ten o one. Hey guys, we're meeting in the conference room. 
No, <laughs> we I don't to want to welcome America. Yeah. yeah, we should have just took off right uh, then. Yeah, but, exactly. But, <laughs> <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> you could have you met me at the Del Taco and had a nervous breakdown. In the uh, yeah, so, but they, so but they can't. Art Wait, you like, guys yeah. split up after you got fired collectively? Yeah. I think, well, Paco went Why to Tejano. Why would you do that? No, the day that they fired you, you guys should have gone drinking. Yeah, we should have. Yeah. That's dude, it I was would. a whirlwind, though. That's what I remember. Like, my head was spinning pretty much. Yeah, like, me holy too. crap, dude. What yeah. the hell? Oh, yeah, we probably should have went me. and got drinks. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, Paco went to Tejano. Speedy went over there, too, I think. And did, you, you went did. to KNST, right? The news station, right? Uh, Speedy? Did you stay? No, you. I, no, you I, I went to KNST. Yeah, but it took okay. me a while, maybe, I don't know, a couple months to get placed. But I was so ticked off. I didn't care. You know, It was hard. It was hard. Yeah, yeah. I had it by my tongue. And even, even Mark Medina was the p the program oh, at the time yeah. and he was like adelaide dude we you know we like you on the air you're you're you know you, i want you to be my mm -hmm. go-to guy on the air the whole spiel and uh, just don't go you know breaking stuff or writing on the walls and i was like i was like dude i got i gotta let go dude i mean what am i supposed to do he's all stay you know and you know then i worked for r dub as the pd because medina went over to uh to new york but dude it was a di it was a different vibe mike don't you talked about breaking it being corporate stuff and writing on the walls bro if somebody talked to me like oh that my I mean, god I'd be like, let me help you out with something. Yeah. I shout out Jose Luis's window. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a good quick story. Uh, a former morning show host at KNST, and for the life of me, I cannot remember his name. It was years ago. Brought a gun in when he knew he was getting hosed, and they still let him on the air. Holy This God. is why usually you let people go before they go back to do their final broadcast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was a zinger, and that was AM radio. What yeah. happened? Wow. Did he, like, pull out his strap? I'm like, I'm not leaving. Y'all better listen to me. It was pretty bad. It's like one of those weird episodes of 24. That's crazy. Wow. I didn't work there. I wasn't working with him at the time. Oh, I think it was working, it. like, because I worked multiple shifts. I worked, like, Savage in the afternoon. I worked Rush, you know. But that was not a good day. And that then I think crazy. after that, Clear Channel said no mas, you know, because you yeah, don't want to shoot up the radio station. Holy cow. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. yeah. All right, so That's now insane. you're on television. So explain how you got from radio to television. You know, I used to kind of double dip. So when oh, I hold on. Working before, we, before you answer that, are you working for that guy that used to have, used to talk to celebrities? I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Right, go ahead. Scott, oh, Skyler. Okay, we don't want to say his name. I'm sorry, my husband came in. He's getting me more gin and juice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. What was the do question? Do you remember that guy nice. that, used, that, that used to do those interviews and then you worked for him for a little bit while you and I were working together and, and you were on TV and then you did some infomercial, but there was this guy and he would interview celebrities and I was always like, dude, that guy's not really in the room with him. And you're like, he is sketch. I'm telling you, he's in the room. Do you remember this guy? I do not. Local oh, TV? Good. Yeah, it was local. Good, because that means you're not working for him now. This dude was a pervert, Adelaide. <laughs> he had a thing for Vicky, but Vicky didn't want to believe it. And I was like, I'm telling you, this guy keeps getting you on these. He, dude, he kept putting you on these like weird infomercials. And then I think you found out he was a pervert. Oh, maybe so. Yeah. Oh, I wish you guys had. <laughs> you guys both have bad radio brain. I, I, definitely I don't remember want, that. I'm glad you at least remember the, the moaning commercial. All right. So let's get you to TV. So you were doing little TV type of things um, while you're in radio. And then how were you talking about a guy I dated? No. He, he, dude, I'm telling you, you were working a hot and, and there was this TV guy and he interviewed celebrities, but he was a local Tucson guy. Yes, I remember then, him. And I then remember. he asked you to be Dude, on this TV commercial, God, you and you were so on this, good. You were on this TV him. commercial, and you were, and, but you played like a white mom, and you were like, "People talk about my mom jeans or something like that." And then, I, and, I, and me and Pot kept busting your balls, like that dude's a pervert, man. I'm telling you, that dude's a pervert. He's trying to get with you, and you're like, "No, he's not. He's a 62 year old man. He's married, blah blah." blah. And then it turned out he was a pervert, and you didn't ever work for him no more. Yeah, I, I actually met him. <laughs> me at the sausage deli holy cow <laughs> <laughs> you remember the this dude now? you deli. remember this dude oh i remember this dude now i did like a full-blown it was like it wasn't a commercial it was like something for the oscars like yeah where i had to wear a gown and, yeah yeah he was pretty creepy creepy yeah we had to cut that cord man i only had i only had half a turkey sandwich oh smart 
smart. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah no, I remember weird. you did that thing for the Oscars, but then you did another commercial of some form. I can't remember what it was. Was it Bedmart? I get that. Maybe it was Bedmart. I don't know. I anyway, don't know. who cares? Like, so <laughs> as long as you remember that pervert, now I feel better about I, myself. God, <laughs> you, the, you were like in crazy. Good memory. Best memory. You know what? It's crazy because like I don't remember things at all. And then something will unlock a memory. And then I'm just like, oh. And it's crazy because Adelaide never catches them. So I could just be making up our entire 20s and Adelaide just go along with me. <laughs> like, Aww. I'm serious. He never remembers them. You know what? He remembers up until we get to Hot 98.3. So he remembers when we were grimy, dirty, DJ crew weirdos. And then That's the best time. I guess. And then Good he times. remembers. Good times. Thank he you, He remembers, babe. like, Thank Hot 98.3 yeah. after I was gone. So, but anyways, so how do we get to TV? Come on. Um, I guess it just kind of meant, was meant to be because the radio worked right up, but I was already double dipping and subbing for people like at, K at KOLD, which is CBS TV out here, local affiliate, and Fox 11, doing traffic at three o'clock in the morning for people when they went on vacation. So just kind of got this little avenue. Mainly now it's just gig work, but, um, you know, a job here and there, TV, they're commercials, but they're meant to look like business interviews, two minute segments. And how does, how does that work? Cause you, you said that, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. It looks mm -hmm. like a business segment, but it's, it's a paid advertisement. Pretty much. It's just a one-on-one -on -one mm. interview. Uh, nowadays with the COVID thing, it's mainly zoom, but I, it's kind of gotten a little better in Arizona where I can do a lot of dentists. I mean, a lot of doctors, everything is medical now insurance oh, because people haven't gone out of their house for two years so now yeah. people want to get their teeth clean they want to take their pet you know to the vet and so it's just blown up i've never i've had this much work gig work it's not steady part-time not full-time but you know my husband's retired and we're knock on wood doing okay and i enjoy it i get nervous i mean it's not my medium i love radio i just oh, yeah. dude you gotta put it, those yeah. up on your facebook you got to put some of gotta those. Got to find those, some of those videos. Yeah, some of those videos, or, or on a YouTube channel or something. Really? I think, yeah, oh man. It, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think a lot of people yeah. would want to see that. Don't you think so, Adley? I would love. I would love to see those. All right, That'd don't be, be selfish. I'm talking about a lot of people. <laughs> Sharing it, yeah, sure. I'd be hey, well, one of a lot of people that would want to see that. You want to know what you pay for a teeth cleaning? That'll be fun, but sure. <laughs> no, I think well, you guys are. Do this. I think nice. it'd be, no, no, no. I think it'd be yeah. really interesting. I, I, honest to God, think it'd be really interesting. Because think about this. People like to see me and Adley, and we're just old Asian men espounding on how, <laughs> how the young people are listening to the hippity hop. Like, yeah. <laughs> but they still watch us. So, <laughs> like, the, I'm sure people would want to see Vicky Valle. You know what I mean? You're a big star. I totally agree. Totally right. agree. All right. So All speaking yeah. of stars, Vicky Valle was always a star with that news when we were younger. But now Adelaide is going to be giving us the news. <clears throat> so, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like doing too much work this week. So, we're going to pretend that this is our midday getaway. Hey, everybody. You're at work right now, and your boss is a jerk. But Adelaide's about to make your day better by giving us some news. Adelaide, what do we got? Okay, so Kanye West, he's been in the news a lot lately, but mm -hmm. now usually it's about him, but this time it's actually him being a subject of the news. And I'm talking about Birdman. We all know him from the Little Wayne stories oh, we've done man, before. The guy's awful. Yeah, he's crazy. God bless him. You're not yeah. awful, Birdman. Please don't shoot us. Or Vicky. <laughs> she has nothing to do with this. I don't know who he is. Exactly. You, you'll know. See? You'll know. Okay. But he's the one. Birdman, just a quick little intro about him. He started Cash Money Records, and he brought us Juvenile. Lil Wayne, okay. uh, BG, all these other artists out of New Orleans. And this, you know, this is back in that 20 plus years ago. He's still in the news, still doing things. We know him, Mike, because Mike talked about cash money later on and young money. And he brought us v like via young money, you know, Drake, Drake. Nicki Minaj, these other wow. artists too. Ooh. So, so he's Ooh. been pretty relevant for a long time. Who won't take the vaccine, by the way. But, uh -huh. <laughs> but now. He's saying he's saying he, he was interviewed recently and they asked him like, hey, um, have you ever had a chance to sign somebody but maybe missed an opportunity? And uh, I want to play this clip if you guys want to check it out. There, there's a couple of bad words in it. So I'm kind of, you know, um, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't play it, but yeah, play it. Play it. You guys ready? OK, yeah, check this out. Let's so I'm going to I'm going to get this here ready for you real quick. It'll take two seconds. And, and oh, it's not going to let me share that audio anyways. Dang it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe Take I can do it this way. Yeah, here we go. Here screen. we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So check this out. So check it out. 
like an artist like you wish you would have fucked with a sign or, or this have been bro. Kanye West was looking before he was Kanye West. You don't see that in Kanye what he is now. I knew he was special. I let him go. Why? Because I had Manny Fresh. Now I ain't want to. Oh, yeah, because he was a producer. Yeah, yeah, he was a producer, yeah, right? Yeah. And I wasn't going to ever disrespect Manny Fresh because I started with Fresh. And if they were going to be Fresh and Ye, so I had to let Ye go. He went to Rockefeller. I flew him to Rockefeller. And we always kept a bind. But he was with me at my house, living with me at my house. And I, I let him go do his stuff, and I wasn't going to play with Fresh, but Fresh was my day one. Yeah, so right. so from that story, he had the opportunity to sign Kanye West as a producer, but Manny Fresh was the main one, you know, that that was, you know, behind the beats for all these guys, Juvenile, Lil Wayne, Cash Money, Big Timers, all that stuff. So he said, you know what? I already got my dude, my producer. So I'm going to pass on Kanye West. Here's what I want to ask you guys. For real? Are we calling BS on this? Did you really have that opportunity? What do you guys think? Ah, oh, dude. Who who's scarier? Birdman or Suge Knight? That's my question. Ooh. That dude is scary, bro. <laughs> it's pronounced Suge Knight. Right. <laughs> what do you think? Suge. Who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think's uh, scarier? Birdman or or uh, or Suge Knight? Oh, Suge. You think Suge. so? Suge. Dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> this dude Birdman. Is he dead? Is Suge dead? No, he's still around. He's, he's, still he's around. in jail. He's oh, he's in jail. Like, yeah, well, he? oh. hey, I'm going to vote for Suge. Well, <laughs> dude, this dude Birdman, he tricked uh, uh, Little, Little Wayne, Wayne into like essentially giving him everything for his whole life. He could like, I don't know, man. Who? What do you say, Adley? Suge Knight or, or Birdman? I think I think Suge Knight will will uh hurt you physically and get uh -huh. what he wants there's no yeah. doubt about that have you signed contracts where you wouldn't sign unless you were hanging over a ledge of a balcony um and birdman <laughs> sure. well, there's probably some really tricky stuff going on back there too because if you hear the other people's side of the story i mean little wayne was held hostage financially broke after putting out all these platinum albums and, and wait now so so um Birdman is very dangerous too. They're both very dangerous, sharp. They're hustlers. Um, now, if you're Kanye, I don't know. Would you sign to that? I'm not signing to that. And Kanye, like, you say what you want about Kanye West. Like, you can say he's nuts or whatever you want to say, and that's fine. He's a brilliant artist. He is all the way around. He is a brilliant artist. Okay. I also think he's a good judge of character. And I think he was like, man, I'm not signing with this dude. I'm not signing with this dude. I already know Jay Z. Jay Z, can yeah. you please sign me? You know what I mean? Can I yeah, say that's... one one thing about Kanye West? His wife's bottom is large. That's true. I used to think <laughs> J Lo's. Even my dad, who was a federal agent, said, "Boy, that's a big butt." <laughs> and then we saw Kim Kardashian, and we went, "Whoa!" Yes, she has. Yeah, she has, has she, booty. Does she have the butt extensions? Is That'll there... be a mystery. I think we'll never know because there's definitely rumors about her having some some uh, butt operations. Yeah. Well, yeah. let me. White women like a small behind. Mm. White men like a yeah. I'm never gonna have my butt enlarged. <laughs> that, it's I a dangerous even... operation, dude. Yeah. I just wear Mariah Carey's butt pads. But, but pads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it costs like twenty five dollars on Amazon. Oh, nice, very nice, but worth it. But it's 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 interesting though. But who knows? I mean, did he? I don't know. Birdman's mm -hmm. made a few claims that you just like. Well, I, did, you know, I don't think no Kanye way to prove would sign wrong. To him. I think Kanye would have been like, "No, nah, I'm good." I'm being mm. honest. Like, I, would you sign? I wouldn't. Like, I'm, no, I don't care. Probably not. No. Would you That's... alter? Would you use the name Birdman? That seems a little no girly to me. <laughs> but... This dude's a gangster, man. Bert, I'll look him up. But who's I'm Machine, scared of Birdman. Who's Machine Gun Kelly? Well, we'll get that's, there. That's Don't worry, another we'll story there. we got to talk about. Sounds too, like so. a lovely, lovely gentleman. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so what we're saying is you don't believe the story. Is that what you're saying, Adler? It's, it's, there's no way to prove it. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking Kanye, because he blew up in what, 02, 03? There's, I mean, there's a possibility. I mean, when you're living out of your car or struggling or whatever, 
and and you you know there's offers on the table um you're gonna you, you possibly could but then i'm thinking like even birdman he's got one producer but you got like 20 artists why would you not bring on another producer? We talked about Dude, it for the I morning house party. You can I have can, a couple producers. Why not? I, nah, I can see that. I can really? See that. Sticking with one yeah, dude? I, I could see if it's true, I could see that being the mm. truth. Like, yeah. but but Birdman scares me, dude. I'm scared of Birdman. After he dude, he went down to Charlemagne's radio station and threatened him. Like, oh, that guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. I didn't do it. Put anything. some respect on it. Yeah. That wow. Guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I know. See him mm. or Suge. No, yeah. <laughs> now, now I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still afraid of Suge, but like I have a collect call. It's for Suge Knight. <laughs> but this is this is this dude's free. He can drive mm. to Pennsylvania with a gun. Like, no, thank you. Suge oh is in jail. God. It's like, yeah, what are you gonna do, Suge? You're in jail. Uh, All right. Yeah. Interesting though. But then again, too, Kanye's sound would have been different for the New Orleans sound, the Cash Money sound. It would have been an odd new sounds because that was totally different so all right moving on to honey mustard anyways <laughs> now we're gonna actually we're gonna move on to oh you might have a take on this vicky now instagram they have instagram kids the app it's aimed at under 13 so you're looking at the 10 to 13 range mm -hmm. now the so tweens. they have this thing yeah the tweens yeah. so they're like okay we got this app you know whatever there's parental controls on it or whatever Anyways, they get some blowback from parents, lawmakers, people, you know, people are saying like, hey, wait a sec. You can have a ton of predators going on this app and taking advantage of these kids. Ooh, yeah. So, yeah. So you're thinking like, OK, they, they paused it. But then the guy from Instagram, uh, I'll have to look up his name, but he's kind of the, the main guy, the CEO. He said, hey, look, we've got this app. It's got parental controls and it's something that kids need. We want to show people that they that the kids need this Instagram kids app. And I'm thinking like, okay, you know, with the, with the 10, you know, Mike's got a couple young kids. I got a 10 year old. You're kind of thinking like, first of all, you need to pay attention to what your kids are doing on social media or anything, watching videos, even YouTube. You don't know yeah. what they're watching and stuff too, but do the kids really need this app? That's what I want to ask you guys. Do they need it? Oof. So Instagram's owned by Facebook, and uh, the last week the Wall Street Journal leaked their internal um, audit, and they'd known for years that one in three girls who'd had the Instagram app on their phone that were in high school had body issues, like body dysmorphia issues, and then six percent of teenagers link wanting to commit suicide to their to the app to the to Instagram. It, dude, when you study the psychology of these of these apps, first of all, the amount of information they're collecting from you is awful. And by the way, I know I know a lot of people hate the media. What the media presented to the public was, oh, Facebook treats celebrities different. That's the big reveal. And it's like, that's not the big hmm. reveal. Hmm. The big reveal is you're brainwashing our society and getting us to scream into an echo chamber and not love our neighbors. Like... That's the big reveal, Facebook and Instagram. Do you want that for your 10-year-old? <laughs> I don't want that for my 10-year-old, you know? Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So so either way, you've got to be careful on on what they're looking at, what they're viewing. And and then here's the flip side, though, too. I mean, go back to the 80s and 90s. There was always the issues with, oh, you know what, as a, as a female. And males, too, get it some, at some, on some level. But, you know, you look at magazines. You walk through the 7-Eleven store, and there's, a, you know, all the magazines – you know, uh, Sports Illustrated mm. swimsuit edition. You're like, and and people are like, I can't live up to that body. So it was back in the day, even. But now Instagram, this Instagram Kids app, you got 12 year olds, you know, scrolling like, I can't compete with that. I can't. Now I'm feeling yeah. bad about myself. And then that's where that's where the downfall is. Uh, the best thing to do, I think, is just not do social media except chino brothers podcast on youtube that's it, that's but, it. but 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 dude you gotta monitor your kids man Wait, you, you I, definitely no i agree that. vicky what's your take on this well i think it's sick i mean we always had bullying back in school mm. girls are the worst by the way and maybe it's different now with boys you know i just have two grown stepchildren but i've been through it as a girl and i'd say middle school is the worst it's puberty and it, it, girls they're vicious they can be mean and that's a, we didn't have that stuff, thank God, back then. We had so, the school, we had the school bus. Okay. What, that what, was, so, yeah. 
what the studies are showing is that these girls are going to school, being bullied, and then coming home and hoping, you know, this should be a safe place. But because these apps are created so addictive and, mm-hmm. and you know, their, their, their frontal lobe isn't completely developed yet, mm-hmm. it's engulfing them. And then they're being bullied at home and they're being bullied at school. Oh, it's, 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 it's absurd. I mean, it's kind of an upside down world right now anyway. So I, I would highly discourage. I can see where parents would want that 100%. So my kids yeah. don't have phones yet. Um, I don't oh, know. Does, yeah. does Kate have a phone? Yeah, he has a phone. He has a phone. Yeah. So so Neil and Sach don't have phones yet. Um, and like when I drop Nehemiah off at school, the line of kids who have phones is so long. Yeah. And he yeah. goes in the line without the phone. So he always gets right in front of the line. But like, dude, I just, I want to keep my kids safe and innocent for as long as I can. But at the same time, I send them to school school in the city and like we watched the rush hour series like like i have a weird relationship with my kids where mm-hmm. i'm like dad but then at the same time i'm like eh, chris tucker's not that bad i'll just fast forward the sex scenes and Ske- like, you sketch know, uh, you know. do, what's the line with the phones they have to turn their phones in or in yeah. pennsylvania yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they can't okay. take yeah. But what if they had an emergency where they had to call you as a dad? They can't do that. I guess they have to t- have their the teacher get it for them. It's okay. because yeah. it's so that way the kids don't mess around on their phones. Oh, I you see. Know what I mean, because yeah. that's all they'll do is just mess around on their phones all day. Okay. Yeah. But but my thing is is it's it's I don't want society telling my kids what's normal. I don't, and I don't want an echo chambered society telling my kids what's normal. I want to tell my kids what's normal. Well, you're the parent. Yeah, I'm yep. their dad. Yep. Let me do that. So, Mr. Zuckerberg, I'd rather you not. And I know this oh, is very funny. I apologize, forget. but I'm being honest. But Mr. Zuckerberg, I'd, I'd appreciate you not bring that to my kid. I'll say this, and then we can get to the next story. But, dude, when when Cade was doing homeschool, did they do Microsoft Teams? Mm, maybe. Like the, It was like kind of a Zoom version. Yeah, so Nehemiah had, had did Microsoft Teams. And there's a social media aspect to it. And I'm like, don't do that. Don't indoctrinate my children at your school. Huh. Like, 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 oh man, you don't know how hot I got about it. Like, so anyways, neither yeah. here nor there. You got to watch that social media stuff. No doubt about that. So, all right, we got one more story coming up. And this one is about Machine Gun Kelly. And and now just to fill you in, Vicky, he's yeah. actually, his kind of, he kind of blew up a couple years ago. Because he wrote that that song uh, to Eminem, because Eminem wouldn't work with them, so he kind of wrote a diss track, "Rap Ooh. Devil," which mm. was a rebuttal to Eminem's "Rap God," Eminem. and it was actually it was really no. good. Actually, okay. I thought it was a pretty decent song. The guys from Cleveland, Ohio, he was trying to actually you know almost reach out to Eminem, and and dude, on I mean, if you look at YouTube right now, it's probably got a billion views now, wow. and uh, it's amazing. Um, but then we find out he's kind he's kind of odd too. He goes from from odd. from rap to yeah, and he goes to rock. They all are. Yeah, yeah he goes to rock. And yeah, we actually talked to what was it, Chris Ur- Urbanic. Yeah, Chris Urbanic. We talked he, to him. So he's, he'd worked he's, with him. Wow. So, yeah, mm-hmm. Chris in Pittsburgh. He does all this. He's the head of security. Actually, we're gonna have him back on the show because the Stones are coming in, and he's doing head. He's head of security for them. So he wow. does the head of security for all these big artists. But dude, like Machine Guns Kelly just seems like a douchebag. So if you're not familiar with the guy, he's he's a skinny white dude from. Cleveland, which everybody in Pittsburgh hates Cleveland. So I'm trying to be <laughs> nice about it. Um, then on top of it, like I'll share a picture too. None of us had heard of him. Yeah, none of us had heard of him until he dissed Eminem. Is that what whoa. Yes, that's him. Yes, that's him. What is he like a transvestite <laughs> runway mark? What the hell is that? <laughs> What's that outfit? Oh, yeah. He's just, yeah, it's good just, night. That was a great picture, too, Adley. <laughs> oh that's God. something that I would have used. You know what? That's it's all perfect. I need to see. That's all I need to see. Yeah. <laughs> I, I miss real MCs, Vicky. I miss. Oh, my God. I, I miss real MCs. I miss DMX. I, I, miss... I, like, a, I like a wife beater, okay? Yeah, I, I don't need parachute pants. And, and a woman's nylon shirt. Yeah, but... exactly. And a brassiere. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So, so anyway, so he was, he was this hip hop dude. He's tattooed all up. He's real skinny and nobody had really heard of him until he took a run at Eminem, but he did that while he was opening up for fallout boy. So he's on this fallout boy tour and he, and he'd film himself in front of their crowd and be like, look at all these people that hate Eminem. (laughs) That's when I started hating him. Seven of them. It's like a Biden rally. (laughs) Where am I? 
to get a little circle. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, so he's and, and just I to see? add to that too. So Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly, he um he he gets into kind of a beef with Slipknot. Remember that old rock group oh where they wear the masks? Who cares? And, yeah, and, and he's he, they write a song together. Corey Taylor is the main guy, the main singer from Slipknot. And then and then you know Machine Gun Kelly so doesn't put the song doesn't put it you know he's Hold all on. Hey. do you have a picture of slipknot for vicky uh, oh no that'd be so I, fun we gotta find one but, oh, yeah. but they wear the weird masks and stuff and they're, they're, they're the weirdest light. looking band you've ever seen in your life <laughs> are they are they the covid dude you COVID definitely got to find a picture so of these something guys like that i'll find i'll find one for you while we're talking but but uh Michigan and Kelly, he's like he's you know he has a rock album that he released, the, his most recent one, and he had a song on there with uh with uh Mich- with uh Slipknot, but then he says, hey, I'm not gonna you know forget that, I'm not gonna have it, and at this concert where he got booed, he's all, man, thank goodness I'm not like a 50 year old wearing a weird creepy mask on stage like a diss to Slipknot because they're older um, and they yeah. wear masks, so everybody's all, you know, it was it was in Kentucky. They're, oh my jar- God. Um, they're jarring, if you will. They're jarring. Yeah, and Slipknot's from Iowa, so right there in that same area of the country. Oh, yeah. So everything <laughs> starts Iowa flipping you them off. And- boo, boo you, f you, bro. Cow you know, whatever. And- yeah, exactly. They're like, dude, you suck. So, and then of course, you know, you know, he's got a, you know, Machine Gun Kelly has to be a tough guy because his arms are, you know, skinny. Yeah, I mean, he's not a big dude. He's not a big and, uh, guy. And- than mine. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like so he goes. Hold on, wait, ends- Vicky. Since you don't know anything about Machine Gun Kelly, he's dating Megan Fox, the oh, girl yeah. from the Transformer movies. <laughs> he's dating no. her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's dating her. Yeah. Well, she's not insane. Ugly. Really? Uh-uh, not at all. Yeah, oh she's God. she's attractive. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. a good looking chick. Yeah. Yeah. But Holy but I don't God. know Machine Gun Kelly. He's just I mean you know he's just such a goofball. You're like what are you doing, dude? And here's Slipknot. So, okay. and Slipknot back in the day, they're from the '90s too. And the, oh, I kind of remember them. Ugh, were they so grunge? Weird. Were they grunge or they're, they're like, they were like like metal, hard rock, hard, hard like, metal, yeah, well, like Tool or Metallica? hardcore, yeah, in that, like in that. war. I love okay, Tool. Geez. I love Tool. Oh my god, get, get rid yeah. of that. Get rid of that. Okay, get it it's so horrible. Like they're so horrible. They're gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, so yeah, so it, the the truth comes out though, because Machine Gun Kelly's like, I don't want these guys in my song, so I dropped it. But the truth comes out, Corey Corey Taylor, the main guy from Slipknot's all, dude. Here's the email from Travis Barker, who's the drummer for Machine Gun Kelly, saying, "Dude, I, this isn't for me, dude. I don't want to be on the Machine Gun Kelly record. No disrespect. It's just not my style. No hard feelings." I wish you guys the best of luck. So Machine Gun Kelly just being like, ah, whatever, dude. I don't. I didn't want him on there anyways. And glad I'm not an old dude. So he got booed, and I, and I felt like Mike, you're pretty happy that he got booed and flipped off. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, wow. it, it, it's it, a flash in the pan, man. Yeah. Like these guys aren't making music. If you're gonna yeah. do music, make music. And, and when you make music, I gotta hear it and go. I've never heard anything like this before. Um. I, I'm I'm like you, Vicky. So like I don't know a lot of new artists and stuff like that. No. And and mm-hmm. like two years ago, I saw Paul McCartney, Rihanna, and Kanye in this. They'd made this song, and it was. I mean, wow. just when you heard it, you got to look it up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. But at that point, it was already two years old. I, I was playing it for my staff. I'm like, Have you heard this? Have you heard this symphony? They're like that old song. I'm like, Oh my gosh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I love a symphony, man. And speaking of Rihanna, God bless her. With that shirt, with the oh, dude, we got what the a, shirt say? a woman with courage here. We got What'd somebody that's to you know speak freely you can. before they it's illegal or something like that. Oh yeah, think before it's, it's illegal. Think before yeah. you, it's illegal. That's what her yeah. shirt said. It was red, white, and blue. And she had a red hat on with nothing on it. So, so you take that as you will. All right. So hold yeah. on, Vic. So in in your opinion, how do you see this playing out in the next four years? <laughs> Badly. I mean, just how, like play it yeah. out for us. Well, I live in Arizona. We just had an audit out here, and uh, people are very angry out here. They're going to start to flip Georgia. I think we're going to see good or bad uh, kind of a uprising in this country. I, I mean, people like let's talk about Fifty Cent if we can for one minute. We love Fifty you Cent. Don't mind. Okay. We've been talking about Fifty Cent for a long time. I'm sorry, it's pronounced but... Fifty. It's fifty cent, <laughs> and it's huge. It's huge. fifty cents. It's fifty, and it's huge. <laughs> okay, uh, fifty cent is not a happy camper. Grew up in New York, 
all of a sudden didn't like the people in New York, which I can kind of understand because I live there. And he said, you know what? Screw it. I'm not paying 62% in income tax. I'm going to pick up shop and move to Texas. Yeah, move to Texas. And he said, I love Texas. 62% in income tax and in that's the state just, of New York. That's just federal. That's, that's not federal. state income and local. How do you so what are you going to take? You want to take home, you guys work hard. You want to take home two cents on the dollar? Live there. Wow. It's insane. Yeah, that's insane. And try California. They're at 60, 61. And this is yeah, the new, bad too. new regime. Yeah. And that, so all of a sudden, we're getting everyone immigrating to Arizona and Texas. And people are fleeing, obviously, California and New York. Florida is going to get a lot of new customers. Florida and Texas. Yep. Oh, of course. Well, if you had a business, would you live there? I mean, it's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. You can't great, make it great. It's I don't know how crazy. anybody makes money in New York City. Uh, we we're one time me and Sherilyn, we got tickets. You know how they scam you. Hey, you want you want to go see a comedy show? Yeah, here's two oh, free tickets. God. But then yeah. you got to buy the drinks. You know the drinks are like nineteen dollars. But anyways, we're standing in line. <laughs> Twenty five. <and>, yeah, <laughs> standing in line with all these people from New York. And this Puerto Rican lady standing there. And so finally, I struck up a conversation with her, and I was just like, "How do you save any money?" And she's like, "Oh, I save my little hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there." I'm like. If all I was saving is a hundred dollars, I would be very frustrated. I will be I will be desperately angry with myself. But I didn't say that to her. Like, how do you survive? I can't figure out like how you do don't. you like you don't. I mean, if you make a couple hundred grand, but I mean I, I moved there, my first apartment out of college was nine fifty a month. And that was in nineteen ninety eight. I feel like if you're making yeah, a couple hundred geez. grand, you're still breaking even in New York. It, and that's what, yeah, that's what they call pre-war. Which war? Civil war? I mean, shit. <laughs> I, I turn on, pardon me. I turn on my faucet and the tar would pour out of the faucet toward the ceiling. I, it, which cow. war? The Revolutionary War? Holy cow. <laughs> it was ghetto, man. And that was like luxury. Al Pacino lived in that building. I'm like, really? Holy oh, cow. Oh, wow. It was, it was when he was poor. That's the, before yeah, he became famous. Before he blew up. <laughs> yeah, living, that's not, not... living on a cot, you know, down by the river. I, now, I don't know. It's crazy. So what, what's your opinion of that dress that AOC wore at the um, at that event? I don't, even, I, I don't even know what's going Tax on with rich. that. Well, yeah. you know, explain saw, the story to me because I don't really know the story. I just saw the dress. Well, they went to a Met Gala. You know, the Met, New York City, where the yeah. opera is and everything. And the elite of the elite. The Hunger Games, I call it. Wow. Let them ever eat. Yeah, that's the Hunger Games. So she goes there in a dress that probably costs 50 grand. Looks like crap, in my opinion. <laughs> Spray painted on the back. Tax the rich. Well, you know, they photoshopped it on Facebook. Let them eat cake. Do you, uh, think, yeah. do you think somebody Jeez. tagged it? Or do you think she had an artist make it look like somebody tagged it? Because that's what oh. I think. I think oh, she had yeah. an artist Dude, or hired. I think she paid for that dress, which is even worse. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. said, we have to have a conversation about rich people. You're at the gala. Did she, yeah. pay, did she pay 30000 to get in there? I don't think so. Yeah, doubtful. Doubtful. Someone paid to have her there and show off. And it's like, she could afford it, though. She is Let's dumber than she a could afford box it. of rocks. Yeah, geez. Wait, Hold on. Do you think that she hired like a graffiti artist to... to paint that on the back of her dress or do you know think... i think that was a real designer that made you think that the dress. designer made the yeah, dress yeah i do that i way? think it probably cost probably at least wow. probably twenty thousand. yeah what do you i could be yeah. wrong i my clothes all come from like tj maxx and crap <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we know <laughs> we, we shop I love, there i, I shop love there. tj maxx what's yeah. wrong with that you know hey, another wrong with that ross all that stuff absolutely I, I honestly just to just so she could brag about it, I bet you she could say like, "Hey, I had so and so street artist paint this on here." Yeah, and she paid know, him a ton of money. Like, right. but, but it was kind of kind of getting her street cred that way. Like, I had so and so exactly. ghetto artist do yeah. it. Yeah, a bartender yeah. from Queens. Give me a break. <laughs> no, give no, me a break. Do you guys? Do you ever make think... a good taco? Can you do anything right? <laughs> Do you guys ever, do you guys think she'll ever become president? No, thank God. She's Rascal's on. Rascal's Rascal. commenting. I don't want to. Rascal, I, Rascal I put your comment up, but the, the, the designer owes in back taxes in two different states. I just I cover it, Vicky, when I put the comments on. Oh, so I'm like, I don't is it bad? Do they say something bad? No, I've click done. on it so Vicky can read it. Just so you can read it real quick. I made like two mistakes so far already. The designer owes. Oh wow. 
Are you being serious, Rascal? Or are you just I think he's that? being funny. Oh, <laughs> did, like well, it's, pro- it's probably. Oh, ah, we lost her. Again. Whoa, dude! Yeah, the left got her. Do you, do you want me to just got, she got Vicky got canceled right on the team? Oh, oh, dude, should I? Should I want to lob one more at her, dude. I love it. Like, she'll, she'll be going back. to work. She'll come back. She'll come back. But it are, is you getting getting little, are you getting uncomfortable? Are you booties? My booties getting achy. Oh, okay. I, no, I meant with the questioning. <laughs> oh, Rascal, serious is a heart attack. Okay. Oh okay. my gosh. Look at that. Are you Rascal, getting uncomfortable with the questioning, me. Adley? No, no, okay. dude. I enjoy all the stuff, I, I, but my booty is getting numb. All right, from sitting. Is that, oh, is that Vicky right she, there? Vicky's texting me. She says her phone cut out again. <laughs> I wonder if she has it plugged in. We did get a comment. It's fascinating to see three imbeciles having a frivolous conversation. Who said that? Uh, this is from Twitch, from our Twitch too. So oh. <laughs> it's all frivolous. Pills, it's, still, it's totally. Pills in a Do you know what that is? That's a song, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, dude. So, <laughs> oh my! Hey, I get my brother's hopping on. CJ, I don't know CJ. He gave us a thumbs up though. CJ Van. Well, CJ, Sweet when Vicky man. when Vicky gets back, her I'm gonna ask her what she thinks. Hold on, what's the next one? Oh, the border. I'm gonna ask her about that. <laughs> well, dude, yeah, because remember we talked to Earn Dollars about and Rascal. Well, Rascal's in Arizona, right? And, and down on the border, yeah. it's got to be. The Border Patrol. You do not want to work for the Border Patrol right now. That's got to be just How much brutal. do you think they got to pay guys to go work for them? Dude, you can't get a guy to work at McDonald's for, for 20 bucks an hour and an iPhone. So I don't know, dude. That's got that's a tough gig. because oh, Bro, I would never take it down that there. Gig. Could you imagine like like the cartel just being like, we know where you live. We know who your family is. We know where your kids go to school. I'd be like, brother, I already quit that job. You ain't getting that's no drugs dangerous, through me. Man, dangerous, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's a scary gig. Dude, then the horse thing. Remember the horses? The horses were there. And oh, they're yeah. like, it looked like, oh yeah, Vicky, good. We're glad you're back because we got to ask sorry, you about guys. the border. What do, you think about the, what do you think about the border, Vic? Uh, not good. Not as long as you state. have a whip and a horse, you're good. Bah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> hitting people with reins and all. Yeah, it's like that was. Never Dude, happened. I heard today it that, like that, that President right? Biden has never been to the border before. I don't know if that's true or not. But no, that's and, and yeah. neither did she. She went to a border patrol station probably an hour out. That's not true. Yeah, that you was off to, outside of El Paso, which is the northernest most part of the border. Yeah, right? you have to did be something like that. very selective about what you believe and read. And mm-hmm. back in the day, that was like us too, but not not, not near what it is like today. Oh, my huh? gosh. I used yeah. to buy a USA Today and believe, by the way, back in the station, I want to tell you one more thing. I had no internet and no television. So was it the newspaper? Yeah, that I bought at Isn't Circle K driving in. But I tell you, like on 9-11, and we were there that day, and that mm. hit, I had nothing. I had people calling, women. Holy cow. It was We horrible. found it. Remember, we found a TV somewhere, and we put it in the studio? I do remember that. That was what but we then, did was... Yeah. They sent us home. They went to live feed ABC just News or K- whatever was yeah. whatever news. Yeah, I was just off. Yeah, it was like, ABC. Well, yeah. Oh, that was a mm-hmm. creepy, creepy, creepy day. God have mercy. I was I, yeah. Yeah. Never Twenty years, been. man. Twenty years ago. Can yeah. you believe that? We're older mm. now, huh? Older yeah. and wiser. <laughs> but he talks to us like we're young. Like, well, your guys are too young for this. It's like we're the same age. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we absolutely are. I feel like I'm a couple years older than you, to be totally honest with you. Because okay. I feel like, because I'm close do, to Paco's Do you want to do like full disclosure? Go. Everybody already knows me and Adley's age. I'm 49. He's 50. I'm class. I'm, I graduated high school in '89. I was I dro- '87, but I was two years ahead of my class because well, I probably the same. What, yeah, well, see? I was born in '70. '70 and a '71. See, you're younger than me. Oh, so you're, you're younger than me. And am and I not, the youngest one? And not a gray hair on your head. See, look, look at all this gray right here. Your hair is all Thank nice you, and L'Oreal. Dark. Dude, you know who's the old one? Rascal's the old one. Oh, no way. Ra- <laughs> now, Rascal, he was a, is he my Marine? Yeah, yeah he was a Marine. Yeah, yeah his, I his that. Marine. Yeah. His, his hair is as white as Santa Claus now. No way. <laughs> yeah, because I told him, I was like, Rascal, man, you know, when I started going bald, you just told me, wear a ball cap. I'm like, that was the best advice you ever gave me. He goes, you want to know why I wear a ball cap? <laughs> he took his hat off and it looked like, um, I'm Mr. Snow Miser. I'm Mr. <laughs> Snow. I'm Mr. Five Below. I was like, oh man, he, he like he even knew he was Clutter. Rascal's the homie. Rascal's oh, the homie. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. What's he? What's he doing now? He's, He's doing, doing radio Phoenix. in Phoenix. Yeah. No way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, when Rascal was on the show, dude, you got to watch the show. But when Rascal was on the show, he's like, I got arrested. I had a felony. And then a year later, I got this job at this radio station. We're like, wait a minute. You told us you've been working there for it's a year. So, Puente Lee. So, Everyone last year. Here is welcome. <laughs> No, it's his new job. Looks like Chente. Like okay. There he is oh, right there. Hi, Baba. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, good yeah. times, good times. Rascal, good you man. never told us what you went to jail for, though. You just brought that up on the show. Oh, we, don't need, we don't need to need Don't do to that. Uh, as okay. my dad would have said, need to know. Need to know. Okay. Oh, dude, I have. Can I, can I, I got one more question for Vicky. Yeah. Mor morning house party. And uh, whose idea was poop lottery? Where everybody would eat a coin, everybody ate a different whether it was a quarter or a nickel or dime, and then everybody would poop, and you'd have to figure out who pooped the quarter and who. Pooped. I'm go I'm gonna say Paco because that's Please? his okay. sense of humor, but Thank I could you. be wrong. You'd have to check with Mr. Francisco. I think he's trying to pin it on Adlai. He's saying well, that he didn't do it. Well, well you know could, what Mike it got. Could be Adlai. You know what Mike got in trouble for? Hmm. The Aaliyah seance. No, I didn't get. <laughs> Was well, Paco's all, yeah, was wrong. Remember, you did the Aaliyah seance, and it was me that did. No, the Adley did it. No, what he said was the best bit that you ever did sketch was the Aaliyah seance, oh. and, then, and then you said <laughs> that was me, and I was like, oh man. We did Puck some bad stuff, man. Oh, we got death threats after oh, that one. Dude, yeah, people were FCC pissed about up. that. Can I give a few shout outs? Yeah, please okay. do. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I got to mention white people too. Is that okay? <laughs> You're everybody's this, welcome I, at here. first at first i was like oh vicky's the first white person we had on the show but, but you're the second white person because chris urbanic was on the show <laughs> okay uh, well we have to mention alan herman even though oh fudge that fellow okay we won't we won't talk about <laughs> no, it no, please, do, you, wait, please. do you know where he's at i don't know what uh, are you i saw him I'll, at some remote dressed in some disco suit i don't even know what the hell's going on here <laughs> yeah do you remember you were, that remote it was well, he's so dressed awkward. up like a lady. He was dressed up like a it was lady. Like some salesperson at an RV park. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Some leisure suit on. Okay, moving on. Oh, oh my gosh, that's great. No, we oh, we did there. we did a whole. Do you remember like, that? We did a whole yes, we did a whole 40 minutes on Alan Herman one day, and Adley was afraid that he might be a big program director in another market. <laughs> so I was like, bro, because I put him he's on in blast. Arts boxers. <laughs> he's in arts box. Dude, I like, I I cannot. I can't stand that guy. You like? Did you like that guy, Vicky? Uh, Alan Herman? Hell no. Exactly. I can't stand <laughs> that guy. That guy was awful. Oh. Hey, you mentioned you mentioned the Four Queens earlier in Vegas. We had a Christmas raffle, and I won a two night stay at the Four Queens. No, do you God. love? You know that patio? That's the best patio on down. Well, he told Never me he's off. You don't, trip. Yeah, and Never. he told me he's off. You don't have anybody to go with, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll find someone. <laughs> I'll oh find my, someone. Oh my god, that's a creepy hangover sexually. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that story. It's where you wake up with a monkey tattoo on your ass. <laughs> no comment. No comment. But all right, oh, more shout outs. Oh, yeah, Paco, yeah. you guys, of course, Paco and Chico, Speedy. I didn't Aww. know. Yeah, God bless. Yeah. Rascal, <laughs> Lino, Father Kino. Yes. Working yeah. at the strip club. No. Wait, Father Kino's was working at a strip club. I, every, I see every once in a while he posts something from, from on Facebook, and it's at a strip club, and he's DJing. So, oh man, We're come on, Father morning. Kino. Let's do it. <laughs> There's my song, Father okay. Kino. You need to get Vicky some passes, some free passes. <laughs> Vicky be too, West. Vicky be the oldest stripper in the club. <laughs> no, you could go to go to have fun. And the oh, only boy. white person. Okay. As long as you play pony. <laughs> and regulators. Uh, yeah. Melissa. Oh, oh yeah. she's work. She's still working in Tucson. She is. She, right, right. she yeah. well, not probably not at the Death Star. You know, CC. No, <laughs> she's, no, she's, channel. She's we called it the Death Star. Yeah, she's at a mom and pop now. Called the Death Star. Oh yeah, Alan yeah, K. I Benny. remember that. Yeah, Death Star. Okay, you remember Star Wars? Um, earn dollars. I'm sorry. Pardon me. Dollars. Oh man. Uh, Marco. Oh, where's he at? Did you, was he still at Clear Channel when you were there or no? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, no, well, he hung on for a while. Yeah, longer than me. Okay. Yeah, some Steve Melissa. Smith. Yeah. He told us okay. the most vulgar joke one time, Vicky. 
It was like I don't want to know. Oh he my was always we gotta like, find him. like Joe Biden after my boobs and you, stuff. I you remember sniffing used, my hair and stuff. Remember he used to have that hand exerciser <laughs> thing and he'd walk around with it. Gleason. <laughs> it wasn't a hand exerciser. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Yeah. Uh Tio. Oh <laughs> Tio, of course. Tio. Mickey. What was Mike? What was his Mickey. name? Mickey. You're all gonna make me lose my mind. Round here, round here. Mickey. You're all gonna make me lose my mind. I want to mind. F word with you. That's what he said. <laughs> Mickey, I want to F word with you. Mickey. Regulators. <laughs> Your uh, wife is my baby mama. That was the best. That was his best line. That was his best line <laughs> ever. Your line. wife is my baby mama. I was like, oh, oh my God. So good. Yo, he's the one that destroyed the bathroom. Okay. It was me, Vic. I'm sorry. I no, apologize. it wasn't you. It was okay. you. Did you blame him like a dog? Yes, I did. Gas? I did. What's wrong with you as a human being? I know. I was a scumbag back then. He was I, a nice guy. Too. I was, I was nice. a scumbag back then. <laughs> I, like, I've changed my ways, but I promise you I was a scumbag. Okay. How, how about Cole? Oh, Cole. Dude, we talk about Cole sometimes on the show. Yep, I'm so yep. glad that you brought him up. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hello, Vicky. Bye. You can do it. Yeah, and he, what was his, his jam was, yeah, you can do it. But when you, you yeah, it. when you put on, you can do it. So Cole yeah. was a pudgy Caucasian guy who was really square. Like, I mean, Hollywood cast a nerd. It would be Cole. And he would come to the club, and he had that real high-pitched voice like Urkel, chubby white fella. And then as soon as Adley would put on Ice Cube, you could do it. He'd go, yeah, and he'd oh, yeah. go out and dance like a star. In, yeah, in like the it. middle of the dance floor. Oh my gosh. He and then he'd come give you a hug. It's like, bro, that's right. you are so sweaty right now. I hate uh, this. That's oh, right. My Ooh. Cole used yeah. to go to Putney's once in a while at the bar and he'd walk in. Hello, Mickey Valle. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hello, Mickey Valle. <sighs> oh my God. R Dub. R Dub. Yeah. He's still oh, around. He's still doing his things. Yeah. Slow jams. He's probably Hold big, up. big pimping. He'll he's a world traveler. traveler too. God bless our no. He's he'll a world traveler. Be, he'll never be poor. He's one of those people that'll poor. come out in the top, man. He'll mm -hmm. never be poor. You're probably yeah. right. Yeah. Uh Richard, and I'm not gonna say potato head because he's watching right now. Oh, okay. And I love my Richard. Hi, Richard. Terry wins. Terry. Dude, you know what? Yeah. Rango also, Terry? Yeah. Oh, oh I love Terry, yeah. Terry. Yeah. yeah. Um Potato Head. So Richard, me and Adley weren't talking. And he sent me an email and he was like, how's Adley doing? And I was like, I don't talk to Adley no more. And he was like, that guy was like family to you. You need to send him an email or you need to talk to him. No kidding. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what brought me and Adley back together after, after right. he the show. Yeah. yeah. Richard did? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. know. Isn't that, that crazy? Guys. Yeah. yeah. Like, the guy, he'd wear yeah. the extra small, the Hot 93 People Station. He was a walking oh, billboard. Remember that? He was so proud. Yeah. He had a, <laughs> sorry, he had a lisp. I got to tell a 10 second story. He had the flag up. I think it was Rush Limbaugh or something. And then Paco had the Che Guevara flag up that they got in a fight. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. That's so awesome. Because awesome. Pac, Pac doesn't even care about politics. He's Dude, just doing it to do it. It was probably cool. You know, if people <laughs> wore the t shirt, they don't know what you know, that yeah. person means. So they made Richard take the Rush Limbaugh thing down, and then Pac <laughs> wanted to take the Che thing down. Uh, they had to take both of them that down. So uh, that's for you, Richard. Awesome. And I'm a minute and fifty seven in, dear. He'll see it. Yeah. When, nice. when, uh, when, yeah, um, that was a true story. When me and Adley, when when Adley took the uh, morning gig, we didn't talk for like three years. It was a while, yeah. Why? Yeah, then, Why? It was weird. It's just weird. like. Yeah. Like, dude, I'll strange. say this. When we were going to start the show, we were going to start the Chino Brothers, me and Adelaide were talking to my friend Zach. And, and Zach, he's a brilliant engineer, just one of my favorite people. Yeah. And every Wednesday night, him and I will talk, and we'll talk about Bitcoin, we'll talk about finances, things like that. And then he helped me start a homeless ministry out here, too. Just wow. really cool guy, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Neither here nor there. Um, he, me and Adelaide were kicking it around with, with Zach, like, should we start a podcast? And Adley apologized to me then, which is like five months ago. He's like, Sketch, I am so sorry I took your job. I'm like, bro, it's radio. Yes. You had to take a job. Like, it's incestuous. You can't yeah. help. Yeah. You're yeah, going to eventually. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, mm -hmm. all that being said, it, it's just like Potato Head, Richard, whatever we're going to call him because he's your friend. And, and God bless him. He was like, dude, 
well, because he'd send me these these emails and they're kind of corny, but I was like, ah, dude, I'm a Christian now. I got to be nice. So he'd be like, hey, you jamming out in Pittsburgh? And I'd be like, ah, yeah, I'm jamming. Da, 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 da. Like, you know, this corny stuff. And then that's when he asked me about Adlai. And I was like, dude, I don't talk to that cat no more. And he was stern when he re replied. He was stern like I didn't put that... Uh, what was that stupid thing called the the shortcut or whatever? <laughs> I didn't yeah. put it up right. Yeah. Yeah. He was stern. He was like, "Look, man, um, you know that's that's your family. Like that's your wow. real good friend." Yeah. I had no idea. I yeah, had man. no idea. Good. Yeah, it was crazy. Good. And then me and Ad started yeah. talking like little by little, and then uh, like we became back to Adlay and Sketch, and then yeah. Adlay got married. <laughs> and then everything went crazy for Adlay, and then that's when. But at that time, I was starting the homeless ministry and all that. God, you all have come Crazy. so far, so far. Yeah, Still hanging so in there too. So yeah. that's a good way. Who, uh, what, how about uh, yeah, who yeah, else have on the list? I want to hear your list. Uh, like Cole, our dub, Richard and Terry, Freddie, Malix. Freddie Longstrokes. Yeah. Freddie Strokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's some people I forgot. You all got to fill me in. My memory's like Joe Biden. I can't remember anything. Now. <laughs> Go for it. Lawana, Lawana the love stripper. Lawana the stripper. Luana. I wrote her down. You know, I think she got a job at American Airlines where she can wear clothing now. Wow. <laughs> like, awesome. you know, where you call and you're on hold for like two hours. Yeah, that's awesome. Hi, this is Lawana. What do that's you want? Sweet. That's oh, sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. Lawana was so dope. I, I used to drive home crying. I had such joy from that, from laughing. Oh. I don't know about you guys. Did you ever have, I had so much joy. I had yeah. to produce the bits, yeah. so it was like I've already heard this forty-five times. I know, and but it's so to, funny. I, dude, oh, that's the next thing I wanted. I, I don't know if you remember. I remember Vic. I was horrible at typing, so I would write your guys' lines down, and you look oh, at me and go, yeah. and you oh, go, I'm, I'm, yeah. "This looks like the handwriting of a serial killer." <laughs> Does this look like the handwriting of a serial killer? And I was like, "Look, man, I have dyslexia. What am I supposed look to do?" Look at my notes. Did you write that? It's all nice, readable. I can't even write a check now. Good. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah. All right. We I never probably should think about oh, wrapping. Yeah, yeah, let's wrap it up. Let's yes. wrap it up. Yeah, you got your kid. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky, we got to save some more because we got to get you back on for yeah. sure. Well, Love you know what? Let's get her yeah. back on. Love Hold you on. too. This is exactly it because this is our last shout out. We're gonna get her back on when we have Paco, Chico, and Vicky morning house party in three iterations. The morning house party with Paco and Chico. The morning house party with Paco and Sketch. The morning house party with Paco and Adley. Like that is phenomenal. That's fireworks. What do you say, Vic? Yep. Oh, I'm I'm in, guys. You know. Well, I'm, invite I'm, I'm invite down. your two favorite I'm boys. Down. Invite the boys right now. Go ahead, Vicky. You know, you know, you want to do it. Don't be a bunch of C's. <laughs> Yatches. All right. With that note, Adley, mm. you want to close us down? Hey, Thank just so yeah. Much, Thanks Bye, everybody Vicky. for watching. Thank you, Vicky, for being a part of the Chino yeah, Brothers thank today. You so much. Be on the lookout. Um, yeah, we're still going to continue to do more stuff like this. We want to get more of these people on here, Vicky, all these people. So make sure you follow us too. Subscribe YouTube Chino Brothers podcast too. Okay, man, that's all right. really good. I wish I would have said that. <laughs> Until next time, guys. We appreciate you.